flashing lights everywhere. Niggas was saying shit about me, they didn't even fucking know me. This is my story. This is what I was doing with what nobody looked. Y'all don't know what goes on in practice or the locker room. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Where Gil at? Where is mm. Always. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. He's on his own. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's a parade! For the black man, what's happening? What's going down? For the pistol yeah. totems. He doing it for us all, baby. <laughs> yeah. Call 12. <laughs> call 12. Call 12. They call 12. Call 12. Oh, they call 12. Not for the pistol totems. Yeah. <laughs> Do it for us all, Ja. All the ones that got in trouble, baby. Hey. <laughs> no, that was tough. That was a tough. No. And we were officially been canceled by the NBA. <laughs> No credentials ever. But this is Gil's Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. As always, we got the legend Gilbert Arenas here. Very festive, very holiday centric. You've been on a sweater roll lately, Gil. Yeah, they free. Okay. <laughs> Pro provided by y'all. Okay, shout out. Shout out to these lovely people in, in Underdog Fantasy. We got Brandon Jennings back here with us. Okay, what, what you got? Uh, Damon Giannis on there? Damon Giannis. Step brothers. Step brothers. Step brothers. You know, you know. Step brothers. I like that, baby. They got my last name on it, Jennings. They got it in the back. You know, always remember me. <laughs> no, we got Kenya Martin back here with us. First time this week. What's happening? We missed your presence. Appreciate you, homie. Oh. Here's what we got cooking in the arena today. As you probably could have guessed, John Morant made his return to the court and wasted no time showing the basketball <coughs> world why it's time to call 12. Steph, Steph gave the Celtics a San Francisco treat and another night-night Celly. <laughs> but does he belong in the GOAT conversation? I feel like some people on this couch may say yes, some may not feel this way. And Donovan Mitchell may be on the move soon, but which team could use the four-time All-Star the most? But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. If you have not done so already, download the app. Use promo code GILL. They will match your first deposit up to $100. I tell you the same thing every day. Some of y'all listen, some of y'all don't. But those that listen have the chance to really spread these holiday cheer and blessings by getting your Underdog Fantasy going. And as always, we do mostly fans at the end of every show. If you send a good question with your Underdog Fantasy username, and we use that question on the show, we will give you a $50 bonus to your Underdog Fantasy account. If you send us a video at mostlyfansgill at gmail.com and we use that video on the show and you include your underdog username, we will send you a $100 bonus to your account. And uh, producers want to let, let y'all know that if you keep those videos in the 30 to 40 second range, you have a much better chance of making it on the show. Some of y'all are going a little too hard on the videos. We do not have time to be watching y'all videos like that. 30 to 40 seconds <laughs> or less. Shorter side. Here. Yo, what's up, Gills Arena? Say what up. Question. End of video. <laughs> And special announcement for y'all. We're going to take a little break uh, after tomorrow, but we will be back December 31st. First ever Gills Arena New Year's Eve Spectacular. Ooh. The whole crew will be here to reflect on the craziest moments of 2023 and count you down to 2024. We're going live at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific, mm -hmm. taking you through midnight Eastern. We're going to take you from 2023 to 2024. It's a party at Gills House, so pull up and celebrate the new year with us. Security! <laughs> Security! <laughs> if you've watched the show, you know we're going to be turned up. The beverages will be flowing. It's going to be on. We already got the... Yeah, I'd be a year older then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, it's be... Kim's birthday! On the 30th. Oh, well, oh yeah. Oh. Shit, add that to the party. Everybody, come on. I'm we all got... To, I'm to my wife the, the first. Oh. Oh, yeah, so she's we'll, first. So we'll yeah, be I'm here a... we'll, when we... When it's bringing in New Year. Oh, yeah, we're doing, can you, hey, we're doing a party here too then. Yeah. Oh, Birthdays. 
Did they tell you she got to cook? Well, if the, no. if the check is right. Oh, no, of course. <laughs> My man, oh, yeah. always. He, you know, hey, always. Chef Martins. I'm she talking about cater. She has to cater. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. It's easy. We all got martinis. I feel like you need a K martini. Oh, he got something over there. Okay, what's in there? Yo, I do. This is a. This is a. Yeah. Okay. She made it festive. She, she gave me the cube with the cherries put some shit in there. and shit. Yeah. Put some shit did you put, did you make put those ice cranberries? Shit in there. <laughs> Okay. Okay. This is cute. Shout out to Abriana, our lovely hey, makeup artist. I'm not gonna lie, that gritty I just hit. Mm -hmm. Right. I need ice after the show. <laughs> Get you the cranberry ice. I am in my 40s, so that shit hurts. Meniscus a little sore on my toes like, oh, that man, much. That kind of. <laughs> you was moving. Like, I'm that was nice though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so, yeah. Pay for it later. Boo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we did not rehearse that. Gil did that all on his own. He does his own stunts here on Gil's Arena. They say gritty is a young man's game, mm -hmm. so. I, I, I should have told that to my knee. Mm. But let's get into this show right away. Normally we have a little preamble to get y'all warmed up, but too much great stuff happened last night. The NBA script writers were in their bag. So the last time John Morant appeared in the NBA game, the Grizzlies got 40 piece by the Lakers in game six of the opening round of the playoffs. Damn. But after nearly eight months in his 25 game suspension complete, Ja made his return to the court Tuesday and showed the basketball world why 12, is still him. In the open Let's take a look at some of these highlights. So Ja put the Grizzlies on his back. 34 points, 8 dimes, 6 rebounds, 2 steals, 35 minutes of action. So the Grizzlies were getting cooked early on in the game, but Ja dropped 27 points in the second half, including 14 points in the fourth quarter, and the Grizzlies overcame a 24-point deficit. Let's watch this man cook. Did y'all expect Ja to be this? Hot out the gate? Actually, yes. You did? This was wild. Late in the fourth quarter, like I said, team on his back, big bucket after big bucket. And with the game on the line, Ja took matters to his own hands, came through with the game winner. Look at Herb Jones and, and Dyson J uh, high five yeah, Like a home game for watch, him. Watch the high five. <laughs> ja bucket goes through. Stun the Pelicans give the Grizzlies their seventh win of the season. After the game, Ja reflected on his life, the game, and his winning bucket. Welcome back to the NBA. You were a little winded down the stretch. That's to be expected. How did you cope with that? I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I put it work in, day out. And... That's my dog. I've been playing work in, man. I ain't played a game in eight that's months. Had a lot of time, you know, learned myself. A lot of hard days, you know, where I went through it. But, you know, basketball is, you know, my life, what I love, therapeutic for me. And I'm just, you know, excited to be back. All right, walk us through that last play. Call 12. <laughs> I the time out. That's why I told him, yeah, that's the play I wanted to run right there. They believe in me. I actually wanted to go to trip in the post. They told me no, so I had to deliver for them. What does this do for your team? We just saw how your teammates responded to you. And my guys, my brothers. You know, we put in the work together. Hard practices, light practices, treatment, flights. You know, we spent a lot of time together through this process. They helped me out a lot. You know, it just saying positive things to me, told me to, you know, stay true, keep working. And, you know, it showed right there with them, you know, believing in me. And it shows, you know, how excited everybody is for me to be back. What a return to action. Thanks for stopping. Nice job. Yes, sir. Hey, happy birthday, Ma. I'm on the way home. Yes. <laughs> what time it is? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes. Shout out to <laughs> and on his way to the locker room after the game, Ja had a special message for everybody that has something to say about him. So as Ja mentioned uh, in the post-game interview, it was his mom's birthday. What better present than busting the Pelicans' ass? Mm. And he also went on IG after the game, posted their text exchange they had before the game and after the game. His mom texted him, it's to return, play your game, let the game come tonight, you. I think him come to you tonight. Don't force nothing, you got this, and we'll come out with the dub. Love you, and beneath no one. He said, love you too. She hit him back, said, you ready? Said, I'm your son, you know the answer. She said, period. <laughs> period. <laughs> after the game, she said, yes, sir, never doubted you. He said, tell him I'm coming, ma. Love you. Oof. Oh, <laughs> got a little emotional reading that. So, Gil, start with you. What were your uh, first impressions of Ja 
in his first game back? I think the most important thing um, <clears throat> with these, these last suspensions is that they allowed a player to still practice with the team. So usually when you got suspended, you couldn't be around the team, which they built chemistry without you. Right, so the fact that he got to be there this whole time, that means he kept his dominance in the locker room. He kept his dominance on the court. So they knew, you know, he's on the second unit, but he could he got to be him, right? He got to play, the same plays as ran. They they're not gonna really change anything. So um this was a plug and play player where they're losing games down the end because they didn't have a star. Their star is back, so as long as that game was close, this was the man that was going to come out on top, and he showed it. So, when you had your, your 50 game suspension, were you not allowed to be around the team at all? Man, they couldn't even call me. They got fined if they called or texted my phone. <laughs> they was monitoring their phones, the staff, everything, right? So, they wasn't allowed to communicate with me at all. So, what was that like for you walking back in <laughs> after that 50? Did it feel like a whole different vibe in the locker room? Did you feel like you were coming back to a team that you didn't really recognize? No, I came back to a whole different team I didn't recognize. Everybody got traded. <laughs> <laughs> they looking like, they're like, who is you? <laughs> who the fuck is y'all? Like, Karan and them got traded to Dallas that year, that summer. So, you know, everybody I came back to, it was a new, it was a whole new team, whole new vibe. And Brandon, what you think about John his first game back? Uh, the face of the NBA is back. Um, is what the league needed. Um, um, I think it's what NBA fans needed. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited for him. I'm happy for him. Uh, I'm happy that he came out, had a great game, um, most importantly, won the game. Um, and um, now, it's, you know, like I said, I got him making the playoffs. So, you know, hats off to him just to keeping his head and still going. What the fuck is in that cup? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a little licky, I can tell you that, because huh? mine tastes good. What? You said you got him doing what? Well, he's the face of the NBA? No, making the playoffs. That. Yeah. Yeah, I got them making the playoffs. You do know they got seven wins, right? That's fine. Seven, seven that's spirited fine. wins, though. That's fine. That's fine. It's, a lot, it's a lot of time left. That's, a, that's okay. It ain't that much time, bro. We're not, even at, we're not even at uh, Nigga, that's all-star shit, break yet. That shit over for them as far as playoffs. <laughs> for playoffs nah. yeah. As far as playoffs, yeah. No, nah, they got a chance. But, yeah, but not going to be negative in this moment. No, nah, the kid did They can thing. make it a 10. So... Remember, you got to remember, you forgot Here's what I'm saying. 17 you and 19. Nine and 10. That's what I'm saying. That ain't the playoffs. <laughs> 7 and 19. I'm saying, they can make it. 7 and 19. 10 ain't the playoffs. But they're six and a half games back off the 10th spot right Eight. now to get in the play in. Six games. But if they can win two games in the play in, they are in the, the playoffs as the eighth seed. Six I games is nothing. Good. I'm okay. just saying. So, so it's, not, it's not that far off. Okay. Six games <laughs> is nothing. Okay. Six games in the for, for, that, for but, that dude and his no, energy. Oh, it's still, not in still in December. Okay. Yes. It, it, it's December still. Yeah, it's still December. It's got seven wins. <laughs> okay. No, nah, I mean, he, nah, I was excited to see him. Um, his pace didn't force anything, like his mom said. That was good. That's a good message for him. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of guys come back in that situation after missing that many games. They're going to come out when you the man. It's going to look like it, mm -hmm. which it didn't. He's like, I'm going to get to my spots. I'm going to shoot the shots that I normally shoot. And you can tell that he's been practicing. Mm -hmm. Um, most guys that's missed that much time. Like, he, was little, he was a little winded, but not like he, he should have been. Yeah, yeah, this is game. Like, game. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, oh, yeah, yeah not, like he should have been, like, um, to play that many minutes in his first game back and to go out in that fashion. Um, I was telling B before the show, like, the NBA needs Ja. Like, they, they really, his, he is the younger generation, mm -hmm. what people look to. Um, before it was the Mikes, the Kobe's, and those guys, but you have more kids that look and want to be like Ja, and for him to walk a straight in the public eye, you know what I'm saying, a straight line in the public eye is what people need, what the NBA needs. Um, so no, it was an exciting night. It was a, it was a, it was a great night for the NBA, mm -hmm. for him to come out and play well, game winner. It was exciting. Um, yeah, it was a great night for the NBA and Ja. So uh, sh shout out to him and his his team and his family, but nah, he did his thing, man. That's what's up. So we just heard Josh say that he keeps receipts, so yeah. are you giving him another receipt saying that the Grizzlies will not make the playoff season? I don't think they will make the playoffs okay. this year. It's just uh, not, nothing to them, though. Okay? They're going to win some more games because he's there, absolutely. But I'm taking account all the other teams that's in front of them. That's all. Like, they could, yeah, make it to 11, 10th, whatever, whatever. All that's great. But, <laughs> yeah. You know, I just look at the landscape of basketball. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, come December, you have single digit wins. So to your point, but I mean, you got, got the Warriors in 11th place right now. You got the Suns in 10th. And they could. Yeah, you know. Championship pedigree. Ain't had all their players yet. Still looking to go make moves in Phoenix. Golden State know what their situation is. I just. But you also have teams like the Pelicans and Rockets in the playoff hunt right now that. Got the Clippers still trying for, to you know, figure it out. Like, I just look at the landscape of it. Could it, could it happen? Yeah, but I just look at how you start the season. <laughs> Granted, you missing your guy. I understand that for 25 games. So it puts you in a hole. And that hole is, in sports, mm -hmm. is deep. It ain't, it ain't like... Well, their hole is... Them? Memphis? Memphis yeah. is right there, man. No, they not. <laughs> I think y'all... Dude, they have four I, more... I think... Uh, uh, be, put this in perspective. Mm -hmm. I don't, do, hear me out. Mm -hmm. How many wins does San Antonio... San Antonio got what, three wins? San Antonio's got four they wins. Blazers. Four wins. <laughs> Blazers. Dude, we were five Grizzlies and Blazers. No, they got... Dude, we were and when we look at those, I understand they're missing their guy. They were missing their I understand that. But at this particular point where we are in the season... They got three more wins than the Spurs. They got four more wins than the Pistons. They got four more, three or four more wins than the Washington Wizards. Mm -hmm. At this particular point in the season, what but now I'm they got Ja. Right. They exactly. do. I'm saying yes. Exactly. They will win more games, absolutely, because he's a, they have a finisher now and a guy that's going to go out and be on a tear and he's going to terrorize the league from this point on. Absolutely. Okay, so if you're if you're <coughs> if you're Grizzlies. Do you because you're at the bottom? Okay. Do you try to win games? Yes. Let or him do, do him, or just let him do him. I mean, get him, him, him doing him is going to win games. I, I don't but know. What like, I'm saying is, like, when you re this this you removed him out of the way, right? Mm -hmm. We see what they look like. Like mm -hmm. they're a bottom feeding team, right? <laughs> do you want a lottery pick for this bad team, or do you want to put Ja in here and get y'all out of the lottery? Is the real question. Are they a bad team, though? That's, that's, I mean, they're, 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 they're a bad team. Without him? They're a bad team without him. Absolutely. Yeah. What kind of team are so they means, with him, though? They have a seven playoff, a, a playoff team, but that ain't a team that's going to go far. But, but they I, don't have enough. They let, it's, right now, it lets you know they do not have enough. They don't have enough. It's once you got yeah. Superman, and then everybody else is caught. If they had 12 wins right now, it's a different conversation mm -hmm. that we're having. Yeah, no, most definitely. Right? If they had 11, 12, 13, that's a different com conversation that we're having right now. To give a point, without him, they know better than the Washington Wizards, San Antonio Spurs, Detroit Pistons, Charlotte Hornets, Chicago Bulls. Like mm -hmm. they're in, without him, mm -hmm. they're, at this point, they're no better than those teams. With him, Yes, they are a much better team, but there's still a gap. There's still a gap. That's what I'm saying. It's always been a gap since he's been no, there. No, he's, okay. he's been the only star. What I'm saying, and that's the problem. So why would you, you're, you're, you're in a, a perfect situation to in heighten your team through the draft. No, I mean, like and, and, what, and, and what draft next year? I mean, who's coming in next what year that, is, that, that we need to go go get lottery picks? Somebody, like, that, can, still, somebody like, that can help like, you bro, win? Like, bro, Chicago they Bulls. Bro, they is still it about like, winning games, no, no, You don't yeah, want yeah. to be in it. Is it about winning games? Yes. Now, John, so is playing, John is playing to win games. Like, he's not, yeah, like, he's not, problem, coming, but that's he's not coming back just to be like, oh, I'm John. No, I'm coming back. Since I can't win MVP, since I can't get all these other awards, my goal is to go out here and win basketball games to prove my point. But that's the problem. And they're going to have to do that every year. I've been in the now, same position. So now, now, right now, you're in the lottery. He comes back and do what he does, right? And they miss the playoffs. Whatever pick you had is out of the lottery, right? They're not going to miss when the Chicago, playoffs. When Chicago was without D. Rose, when D. Rose got hurt, that team was still a playoff team, which means when you add him, they are trying to push for finals. Without him, they are a playoff team. C three, four, five. We also right? traded. We also yeah. traded. What's his name, too? But uh, that's... We also gave away... Uh, but that's what I'm saying. But think about what without D. Rose, that's what that team looked like. Add D. Rose and Heighten. Without Ja, this team is horrible. D. Rose yeah. role players are way better than his role players. That's so, what we're so, saying. So, so, I mean, I mean okay. Oh, oh, no, no, but that's... Build. But that's a difference. So you can't say without... It don't matter. With or without D. Rose, we're still going to be a good team. But this team is not. But this well, team is okay. not. So why, I, I need to build it. 
Bill, what? The what, team. team. There's nothing out, out the draft. So what? Okay, I got 12. So what? All right, 12. Just go do you, and we're gonna suck again and help one of these rookies come in and help me. Fuck or no. I use that man, draft. fuck I, that, I, I man. Use that draft. I think I think I think John Moran has the chance to just do it himself. Do but he, what? Get out of the first, losing the first round. Every they're not year? gonna lose in the they first don't round have every nobody year. To help we him. don't know that yet. We don't know we that. He just got. First, we just got. He just got we back. We just got back. Are you not paying attention? He just. We just got back. What is their record before John Moran? Six and eight. So we seen them. We seen who they are. Okay. okay, and bring him back, and he can do it all. He can. Okay. You never know. You never know, bro. Gotta, you gotta, never, gotta, not, I don't think they're trash. Night. He got to be this every night. Every night. Okay. And shit, I've been going for 25 games. I got that energy. And? And? But his and, team is not and, good. Well, and, so, what, so what about I'm, the nights he don't have it then, B? I'm, I don't know when. I mean, I've never no, seen No, you know him. what? They got six I, wins. I, I mean, I've never seen him not have it. They got six wins. No, I've never seen him not have it. We're not with talking him, about with him. He no, can't no, no, be, he no, can't you just be said what happens the night when he don't have it. When does he never have, have it? Is he going to beat by himself and beat he ain't gonna have it He's in the Western Conference. All I'm saying. Is he going to beat Booker? All I'm saying is that. Is he going to beat Booker and KD by himself? All I'm saying is that they can get to the playoffs. So they can, okay. they can get to the playoffs. Okay, cool. And, and, and they can win the first round. So no, with not. him being out. They're not going to win the first round. I think round. so. I th Who? I think, I mean. But they going to beat Denver? He going to beat Denver by himself? Who, who said he's going to be eighth? So eighth. Who said what? he's going to be eighth? Who said they're going to be eighth? Okay. Okay. Yes, we, is he going to be? Shit, we was 5-23 in Detroit, and we was two, two, uh, two games out of the eighth, and we was right before All-Star break. Is he going to be Anthony? Like, is chicken, he gonna be, chicken change. Is he going to be chain. Anthony Edwards? In that group by himself. Is he going to beat the Lakers by himself? Because that's all it is right now. We don't know, man. You, you never you know, we man. We don't know. We're looking at the one record. person. One person energy can can help can help the whole. They thing. don't change their talent. You never know that. Well, we don't know that. To your point, we, we don't know that. So we do. We've with, seen it. With, with, with we're looking the, at uh, it. What if the Grizzlies are able talking. to make a move before the trade deadline? That, that, but that's but what if they, they need to do. That's now we're talking ifs and fifths, okay. okay. but we're talking current saying. current roster. That current roster is current roster as structured as we sit here on this couch today. They have seven wins. Went down to the buzzer. Shout out to Ja. Absolutely. Yes. Not going to be tough if damn near impossible to make the playoffs this year. To get the 10, to get in. Okay, cool. Now you're fighting to do that. Okay, you ain't seed. Denver. Not a, no. Not a chance. Minnesota. Right, at the, I don't think so. And then, you, and that's what I'm then you go into the summer with the same roster, maybe you get a free agent. But if I can use that draft pick, trade these persons, get someone over here, now I got Ja and someone yeah. else, it kind of it kind of gets me over the hump. But, right. but can't you do that even before? Over what hump? Who's going to, <laughs> over what hump? Are we talking about championship hump? They're not going to get there with the team. They're not going to get there even if they go to the draft. So let, it, let the shit just play out. Let him just do his thing. That's what we're saying. That's what we're just saying. Just let him do his thing. <laughs> right, but it's going to come with wins anyway. Uh, so it's not like this guy, this guy is not, 12 is not going into a game, oh, let me just do my thing and, and lose. That's no, never going to No, gonna, he's like, going to play. Like, no, no, he's going to play with do him. It ain't, they ain't saying. So, lo, that's so not long as he's saying. between those lines, it don't matter. He oh, gonna, he oh gonna it matters play. with the talent that's around you matters, bro. <laughs> I don't think he care. They don't have to care, but the results are... And we'll see what the results. The we'll results right, are what they go... So they got 56 more games with Ja. They're 1-0 so far. We'll see. What do you feel like the higher lower is on the Grizz wins this season? They got wins. seven right now, 56 games left. Out of them 56, 56... They win 30? 30, 30 wins. 30, 30, 35? 30, that, 35 wins. And that would put them somewhere in playing range just based on how the... But you got them up... <laughs> I understand. They I ain't understand. That, they ain't the only team that's fucking playing. <laughs> well, I'm telling you, is right. like the NBA stopped. Let the Grizzlies play. So Thunder, Thunder, Thunder were the 10th seed last year, 40 and 42. Huh? The Thunder were the 10th seed last year, 40 oh, and 42. Now we got 37 to 35. So they, I mean, so based on last season, but the West is tough. The league is tough. The league, it's a little bit lighter. But than still, the West. still, but historically, it don't like this NBA. I don't. That shit don't even matter. How historically, yes, that it don't matter now. Like those things, like which conference, like guys, is okay. So you you think no, pretty much no way that that Grizzly squad can can rally behind Ja. They got I'm, their star back. Out of the fifty six games, that like, what would they have to? That, you know, dude, what's, what's they gotta like? they gotta go on a. No, they gotta win. They gotta go th ten straight, lose 30, one. Thirty three and twenty three. Win, 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 win seven straight, lose one. Lose, win nine. Like they gotta go on runs like that in order to yeah, to I get, get to the forty 
Like, it is. Like, They'd have to go 33 and 23 to hit that 40 win mark. You know, like even with the 25 games, right? Last year when he was missing games, they were still winning games. Yeah, because he played already. Huh? Because then they had a formula on winning on yeah. how to play. But now, but that's what I'm saying. Like that, that same team, that same core ain't playing how they played last year without him. Right? So For it's sure. like when you when I'm look if I'm looking at that and I'm the owner and I'm listening, I'm like, Ja, you don't need to pass the ball to these guys like that. Just go out there and get your name back. Go there, try to make the all-star, put the Grizzlies back on the map, and then we'll get you some help. That would be my that would be my answer to him. That would be my answer. So, 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 like, so, so at another point, right? So now you force bench guys to be starters. That's that. that, that they have some injury issues. They're not used to that. They're not used to that, right? Just look at Jordan Poole. Go from bench to start. It, 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 like it ain't the same thing. Oh no, so, he's gonna go back to where he was. Yeah, they're gonna trade him, and whoever trade for him, they're gonna put him back at six. Yeah, but I'm, but, just, but, letting, but, but, he, I'm right? just looking at the he, shit, he like, might as well put that in his brain now. Like, you better finish this season looking like a starter because whoever trade for you, they're going to put you back to a six-man. Yeah. Guaranteed. Like, but Memphis, they are, the, the talent, they, they gonna, just... Right? Yeah. <laughs> like, but they got to make a move yeah. to, get, to, to, to definitely get him some help. They got some injury issues. Marcus Smart's been out. Obviously, Steven Adams out for the season. Desmond Bain, though, not to... Jerry yeah. Jackson Jr., defensive player of the year last year. I'm just saying that like that yeah, roster isn't. Yeah. So. It's not as quite as boo boo. Dude, that dude averaged four and a half fouls a night. You can't depend on him. <laughs> Which one? Jaron Jackson Jr. He's he's, oh, he's foul pro. Yeah, he's, he lead, he's led the league in fouls for the last two, three years. Aggressive. No, I'm just him and Jay Sean Tate both is top fucking two, three last three years. No question about it. Okay. Not dependable on somebody because he's in foul trouble. Marcus Smart, okay, defensive guy, yes, absolutely. We know what he's done in this league. Steven Adams, okay, yes, serviceable, help. You still need something else. Need something else. Yeah. Need, Steven need Adams out, you know, out, need some help. out for the season. Yeah, I'm saying, but he needs some help. So, well, so how tall is Bain? About 6'3"? I think like six, six, four, six, five, maybe. Now, this is, this is, because he's playing well right now. Six, five. He just got the baby arm, so it makes him look smaller. Uh, he's six, five? Yep. Damn, he looks <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm just saying, when, I, I, when you got the, he got the baby. No, no, no. <laughs> he get this is, this is, this is, this is some real shit. Um, I asked some GMs, why did Amani Bates slip in the draft? Like, and they said the same thing. They said he wasn't athletic enough to, to over, Compensate for his short arms as a six, as a six, eight, six, nine guy. Damn. I was like, damn, right? Yeah. It was like, yeah, he didn't have the arm length, but he didn't have the jumping ability to, to, to mask that. So that's a real thing. And I'm, I'm thinking with a six, five shooting guard, is, is that Jaws longevity running me, backcourt me, even though he's averaging about 23 right now? Do you see them two? Do you see them two? being a force together, even though they're right now they're a force together? Is that longevity playoff making Western Conference final, or do you need to upgrade? Yeah, it's not longevity. Boy, they paid him like it is. <laughs> Shit. But, is he a, but that, that's, like, what's his name go, though? Who? I think they're going to regret letting, what's his name go? Dylan Brooks. Because well, they just paid Bain. They couldn't. And, and they gave him, what, 230? Who, who was Memphis' backup point guard? Tyrus... Uh, uh, Jones. Memphis uh, Jones. backup point guard last year when job was he's hurt yeah. oh right now too right Ty Jones he played he last year he was Spurs, Spurs. Yeah. oh yeah the guys are Spurs yeah like like okay like is a better shooting guard with him like somebody like uh, Zach Levine yes right six yes. six can jump now yeah. you got two guards that yeah it's just that the Bane is like ah it's just he re- like he needs to be with like a, a Luca, someone who's taller. He can he can guard the point. Luca can guard the two. Kind of that off balance, but both of them small. I don't know. I mean, I like him. He's yeah. He's done well. Tyus Jones actually with the Wizards. I mean, Tyus Jones. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, he's with the Wiz. Yeah. I know. I stopped, like, I stopped like, watching. Like, like so, those two guys like you missing for sure. From for last sure. year. Yeah, and it's not to say neither here nor there, but 
you know, you guys have seen Ja. Ja's been in sideline 25 games. I understand your point, yo. This season's a wrap. Let's focus on the draft. But Ja now coming back, chip on his shoulder. He said a, a share size chip on that shoulder. Yeah. For him. I've just seen it, man. I've seen guys. I've seen, I've seen shit. I've seen guys go be with the same record and by all-star break, it's a whole nother like thing, man. No, no, no. Like, they you know are doing and, it. and I just feel like the confidence that he has, he's able to do that. So I mean, yeah, like, I, I, like, I, like I, out of every player in the NBA, I think he can do it. I watched, I watched this, I watched this team called the 76ers, right? And they had a dude by the name of Allen Iverson on that team, right? Yep. <laughs> <He's good>. <laughs> by <laughs> himself, he took garbage to the championship, right? Yeah. Instead of realizing that the team was garbage outside of him, to really upgrade and help him get over the top. They just used his expertise, and after a while, <laughs> it kicks in. The rest of your team is trash, my guy, right? You sitting here scoring 30, 40, 50, right? As soon as he made the play, as soon as they went to the championship, they should have thought, all right, we need to add one or two more pieces to help them. No, they, th they thought they were good enough because he was that good. And that's what I don't want to happen to Jod, that he's so good, he gets them there, mm -hmm. and then he's stuck with the same unit for three or four years yeah. before they realize, oh, shit, we should have made a trade. Well, not in this era. Oh, yeah. Not in this era. Yeah. Back then, yeah, I, I, I believe like the Sixers yeah. was like, yo, we could just yeah, we, bring it back again because our but defense. But if not, you got AI not, and you get into the finals, though, in your mind, you're going to be delusional enough to think that we're right there anyway, right? That's, I'm just saying. Yeah, but not with Shaq. But, oh, yeah. Yeah. but I'm <laughs> but just saying. saying. Hey, you were delusional. We four games. Everybody then, else we three beat, games yeah. away. <laughs> everybody else beefed up. We and won then, game one. Oh, we was, we was right there. Like, oh, you see, we could get them. Like, but yeah. Then we somebody know. had the number one pick. Yeah. So he came in the next year. Freight train came yeah. through this bitch. <laughs> so let's talk about Ja a little bit more. <laughs> but, but people don't realize when you really think about the dynasties that's been built in the NBA, right? Usually the team was good. They had a bunch of injuries. They end up getting a one two pick. Everybody got healthy. And that's what ends up. That's what really ends up happening. That's what I'm saying. They're in that situation where they're. They were a second seed last year, right? Yep, they were yeah. second. They two were two seed, seed last year, and then this year. Now, mm. what if they got the number one or two pick, and then everyone got healthy? That same number two team with the number one pick. Let that motherfucker be a, one of them seven foot, uh, <laughs> Wimby type players that's coming in the draft again, and you got him with John the number two. That's a whole different team. But do you, you think the NBA would let the Grizzlies get a pick? They let San Antonio do it. For Pop and because of the French they, connection. They, no, 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 no. They let San Antonio do it when they got Tim Duncan. Yeah. They let Magic them do it. <laughs> all these teams was built on that. Bird. It, all of them was built on this, this type of stuff. Yeah, for sure. It happens. You know, you just have, they have a one, two bad year. So do you yeah. think they make a move during no All-Star break? Like, do you think they have anything to move? Uh-huh. Furniture? Do they have anything to move? <laughs> oh, everybody got furniture. furniture. I mean, you, 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 yeah. you. Everybody got a little furniture out there. Put something together. You're gonna have to. It's gonna have to be a couple teams involved. But you got the buyout yeah, no, market as well. I mean, like, no, nah, there's because there's some contracts that teams signed over the summer that they regret. They regret. Mm -hmm. right. Trust. Yeah, it's, it's a few out there. Like Bane is the one I'm. I'm like he's good and he's good, but I'm looking at like. Four years from now. What he do, right, for, mm -hmm. for what he is, mm -hmm. to Gil's point, you need a LeBron, a Luka, uh, mm -hmm. right now, James Harden. Uh, to get him. Because that's what, he, that's, what he, that's what he is. He's a spot up, shoot the shit out of him, mm -hmm. right? Shooter. Defend well on the ball, but he's a spot up shooter. He's not a, if you need a bucket, if Ja don't have it going, I can't go, here you go. Mm. I need I need a bucket, right? You need a guy who you can throw that bitch to. If number one ain't got it going, you yeah, definitely number two or you I need a, I need you to go get me a bucket. I like Kawhi, Paul before James got there. Like you need like situations like that where in this NBA, in order to compete. Dame ain't got it going, Giannis, I need a vice versa. It's Tyrese Max and Joel Embiid is Julius Randle Brunson is mm -hmm. is Can you get I'm somebody to come that? there? I think he can. Mm -hmm. Like he, him him making a call if there's some shit on the table that 
They say, ah, him picking the phone up. Been yeah, like, hey, man. Disgruntled? Yeah, somebody that's disgruntled? Somebody that's like, fuck these, like, yeah, absolutely. Because or, who he is, because they get, or they get a, or they get a really big three. If they get a big three, like one of them six, eight, six, nine, that can really cover some ground, mm -hmm. then you can hide, you can hide two small guards. Like those are considered too small. Well, Bain is considered at point, he's fine. As a shooting guard, he's kind of small. Okay. Compared to the rest of the field, right? Even though he's averaging twenty something, you know, not athletic and shoot. Can he? so I'm just looking at when you start making those playoff well, runs, he got to guard Tatum. He, just, you know, in the just, playoffs, just, that's who he has to guard. He has to guard Tatum. Yeah, he up. averaged 20, Jimmy Butler. You know what I mean? Twenty-three. Jaw wasn't there. Yeah. So let's. I keep, I keep, I keep, paying two, but 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 eighteen, nineteen. That's, yeah, but you're paying two thirty. He having twenty-three and Jaw out there. That's what that's what the fuck he's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Right. Jaw come back now. Jaw the number one. What do those numbers go to? Because he's not getting the same looks. They're not running all the plays for him. Jaw's taking the majority of the shots now. Mm -hmm. So what? Like to your point, what? Like what do those numbers look like now? I mean, could it be argued, though, that it might be easier for him to get those buckets with no. out there? You know what's so funny? Like, because they were running plays, so he was the number one yeah, option. But, but I'm saying now, now he's the one everybody's keying in on. Now, now, now Jaws back. Does it take some of the pressure off of him? He learned how to score. So his numbers are still about the same because they need a number two score now. Yeah. Yo, yo, do you see Jaws? Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, this, is, this is like when people, <clears throat> when people talk about that, that next step. He's more valuable than a Jordan Poole. Right? Yeah. Right? When you when you say, all right, Jaws out, I need you to be number one, he stepped up. Absolutely. Right? They didn't turn the wins, but he at, stepped up. At right? His he, individual he play. Kept them, he yeah. gave them chances to win. Right? He just don't have the it factor at the end like yeah. Jaws does. Right? Versus someone else who has a team by himself. And okay, he, he has a better team. When you look on paper, Wizards offensively is better than Grizzlies. Right? Yeah, so the yeah, fact that sure. this team... So you can see mentally... What's um, Jaren what Jackson averaging? Jaren, give me a second. Go ahead. Oh, no. Keep talking. Go ahead, B. Yo, do you see Josh staying here for the rest of his career at Memphis? The only way Josh leaves is if the organization does something to him. Yeah. Right? You know, like... With tell someone him, who has tell his daddy he can't come to the game. Yeah, it's gonna be something shit. like yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna shit be, like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's gonna be something small yeah. where it it stops one of his friends from coming. Like they do something behind door uh, behind closed doors. Um, but I I don't think any any city right now could could persuade him to leave because he don't. <laughs> he ain't fucking with the world like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, he gonna be loyal to, to, to the people that's loyal to him. And that was my thing, like, I, don't, I wouldn't have played on the road because I'm thinking about my home crowd. I know what y'all did. Y'all trying to make money off me. Yeah, yeah his, the ego was like, yeah, I'm gonna come in here and just show the world. Mm -hmm. But my ego do kick in like, y'all want me to get all this money to y'all when y'all took all that money from me? I see I see y'all see y'all back at the, at the cribs. So you ask Jaron Jackson. Jaron Jackson averaging 22, 6, 2 blocks. Okay. Playing 20, about 32 22 minutes. And how many rebounds? Six rebounds. See, that ain't, that, that's fucking, that's a goddamn shame. Wait, wait. How many blocks? Uh, two. 1.8. That's, see. You know what? Go ahead. They're going to be, they probably will be better than we think. I'm telling you. Here's why. You do have two guys, you, you have two guys averaging 23 and 22. And where they're losing the game is they're losing the game the last five minutes. So we think. Nah, that it is. That's when Marcus Spark, because I, I I did some commentating on him. <laughs> right? So that last five minutes, now you have the guy that get him over the hump. That get him over the hump. So yeah, they could, they could, they could heat up soon. Even so, if they so go twenty. Got, so he got it. So Ja has to do what he do. do at the, at and the average. No, 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 no. He, his he. Them two were right around 20. He having 23, he having 22. 26, 28. Yes. 26, 28. Yeah. yeah. To your point, yes. By All-Star. It's... By All-Star, though. It got to be... It's going to be a dog fight. Like, you got to be able to see it by All-Star. But, but, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, but yeah. they got to get hot, B. Yeah. Like they they got to put together... Yeah. January, is more, January. January is important for They got to put together some streaks. Yeah. Like, 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 to your point, yes. If, if, like a 13 and 2 January. Them two average, absolutely. They got to have two great months. Mm -hmm. January, February, like, it has very, to be very, very important. 
So, so here, yeah. here, they have long losing streaks. Can't, can't go on a five, six game binge and then. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Now. No, for sure. That's why I say well, All Star will be able to see. I got you. So yeah, I think. Hey, so, even if they losing, I know somebody who's gonna be averaging about thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gonna be averaging about thirty three out that bug. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but so, it, yeah, if you come, yeah, I, I'm with you if they do that because them two guys have been. Yeah, they've been playing okay. Yeah, that, that's what I said. They've been playing. Jaren Jackson have more rebounds though. Yeah, that's, De- that's decent it. schedule coming up. They got the Pacers at home on twenty first. That'll be Jaws' first game back in Memphis. Uh, uh, at the he, Hawks, he gonna have forty. Back at the Pelicans, it's not an easy game though. Back at the Nuggets, off, no. If I'm just Pacers. offensively, he gonna have forty. No, but I'm saying the Pacers not an easy game. We talking? Yeah. No, no, no. They gonna they gonna sit there. Yeah, they got but that's why I said Jock yeah. gonna have forty though. He gonna, he gonna have, it's, it's gonna be like hey, one forty five, one forty four. Can he win a scoring title? I don't think. Or is that out the window too? I don't think he I don't know how that, that minimum games thing impacts I don't impacts think he eligible for any awards. Yeah, I'm going to say, I don't think he eligible for anything. anything. That's why I said, he got to make the playoffs. I got to make the playoffs. Just, just awesome. See, that's that's that bullshit. Now they I'm probably mad looked at they the shit and was like, uh, how many games we got? They should, that's 25. What, they should have uh-huh. just put, they should at least put it at 20. Even if it's 20, he still wouldn't have been eligible. 65 game minimum now, Gil, for, for postseason awards. Mm-hmm. They should have put it right at the edge. Like, or so to you, qualify for a scoring title, a player must appear in at least 58 games. So that's, yeah. So. <laughs> I'm saying they looked at, I'm telling they, you, dog. They, I, I don't know. I can tell you this right now. They're like, ah, uh, uh, yeah. 25. Yep, I can tell you this right now. Let's say this man do average about 34. Yeah. And he played every single game and that one's missing. Bruh, you know how. That's why I say he got him. It's the playoffs, bro. Do, wait, wait, do the so playing good. games count? Playing, yeah, playing the game to like the like in season tournament cup championship. Oh. <laughs> they just disappeared. So he can't make all star either, huh? No, no, he can so, make all because so, he can vote it. He can get so voted let, in. Let's talk about that. So we asked the chat, uh, will the Grizzlies make the From playoffs? The Star- <laughs> it just open, right? The yeah. All Star ballot just Started, opened uh, so yesterday. Yesterday, so fifty percent said his yes. Game, his first game, his first game. What? Yeah. It came. What? So you see, but that's what I'm saying. Oh. You see how the league. That's why I said personally because I'm looking at how it all played out. They didn't think he was going to play well. They didn't think he was going to play well. I was personally, no, I would have been pissed, no, even if he played well, I'm going to get everything out of him and don't have to give him shit. Yeah. I, if he averages 35 on every TNT game, yeah. he don't have to win no awards and we got the jaw effect. So if he averages out, 40, 11, and 11, now, hey, I'm just he saying. He can like, come out, make the All-Star team get voted in, right? Uh-huh. Win All-Star game MVP. Fuck it. So that, that's that's all, yeah. hey, <laughs> hey, come out, this bitch. And that's a fact. And it'll be, the, it'll be the biggest uproar in it, NBA history. Yeah. Yeah. If because if he doesn't miss no games, yeah. that means he's one game basically from all. Of yes. <laughs> and everybody gonna be pissed. So we asked the chat. Uh, the Grizzlies will make the playoffs. Fifty percent said yes. Fifty percent said no. Okay. But back to your guys' point. So yeah, Ja can't make an All NBA team. He won't hit that sixty-five game minimum to be eligible. Yeah, you talked about it a little bit yesterday. We're talking about it now. He has the potential though to make the All Star team if he's playing like this. You can vote it rest in of fan, December, man. rest of January. Fan. So the fan vote, I think, counts for fifty percent, and then they do some some you shady shit behind the scenes. But the NBA in need of a star power, if he lead need vote, a get a, if he lead and vote, okay. get a top two, fuck. three, and vote. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what they do. What the fuck they doing in the back? I don't give a fuck what they doing in the back. What they doing in the back? Goddamn it! <laughs> hey fans, <laughs> vote him in. Goddamn it! Lead and vote get him. Yeah, oh, no, said it right here. He getting voted. That's the he normally he normally get all the votes. So let's get him more. Yeah. Let's get that number, yeah. Let's yeah. Let's get them said, Yao Mean numbers on there. Yeah, get some Yao Mean. Let's get yesterday some Yao you said it, I'm like, on. look, I've seen this NBA house moved over the past 20, 30 years, but I also know that they need viewership. So I'm sure those numbers last night are gonna come in, especially for a Grizzlies Pelican game, the numbers that they did off that game. Yeah, yeah. that looked like a jog that looked like a that looked like a Grizzlies home game. Ja homecoming. <laughs> number one versus number two in the draft. So fan vote makes up fifty percent. All current players in a select group of media will account for 25% each. Come so you know he's getting the love from the fans. You know he's getting the love from the players. The media will hate, but that's, you know, because they don't let Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy will we'll get a vote <laughs> in this particular situation. But like he, that's what he, 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 in, shit. No, he, he has to be voted in because you know the coaches ain't going to vote him in. It ain't haters. You know, the coaches ain't going to vote him in, so he's going to get, uh, he gonna have to get those fans votes. And that's going to be tough, too. What? Them fan voting? Right now, you got Steph and Luca. Yeah, why do you feel like coaches hate Joe? guards. No, it's not coaches. It's not, it's not, it's not. It just coaches. depends, though, how he get. It, it just depends. Like, he goes crazy. It's not coaches hate Ja. It's just yeah. that the. Um, yeah. It's them too. They're going to use, like, 
when, when, when the coaches do it, that's when the NBA gets to really tweak it. They say, oh, yeah, we already got a third guard, a third guard is this, and he don't have these votes, and they, 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 now you don't know what the fuck is happening in the back. Right, you know, keep it out of their hands and just go straight for. Well, let's so let's so let's so let's so let's add some more controversy to it, right? He's playing the way he's playing. He don't get voted in because of Steph and Luca, right? Mm -hmm. He's doing what he absolutely supposed to do, and we all know how this shit go. Injuries doing All Star is a thing. Who who picks the replacements, Kenya? Exactly. So what do who, they do? Who picks it? Do you know who picks the replacement? Adam. The man. Adam. Mm -hmm. So what would Adam do? Adam likes money. <laughs> Adam likes money. He likes numbers. <laughs> he knows. He likes. He likes ratings. Mm -hmm. He knows it's gonna be Indianapolis, a fine city. Do not yeah. get me wrong, people. Indianapolis, but, but that city's not moving the needle like a Vegas or a New York or a Dallas. Or <laughs> so what? Twelve, get in there. Yeah. Call they, twelve. Call do they jump? I mean, huh? do, do they go? Do, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think the biggest thing of it all too is him coming back. Is like you know he's auditioning for this uh, for Paris. You know, so yeah. how he, how he, you know, come back, his team winning, like, no, I mean, you know, I mean, listen, man, if he comes back and they make the playoffs and he does his thing, like, you know, you, you got to be auditioning for Paris. No. But ain't, I, that's no, a lot. Listen, it ain't no audition because yeah, they, 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 they picking who they want. Yeah, that's a, that, that's I mean, it. I mean, that's 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 I mean, but you just said, you said, John, yesterday you said, that's me if I'm picking. Yeah, I understand. That's a tall ask. No, really? if I'm picking. But after that squad just got their ass dusted he in not the World Cup, he seems like yeah. he'd be a good he's fit for that He's I'm, World Cup ready. I'm, I'm just letting him you know. He Olympic. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. That's a, that's a, that's a. That's a man, it's mean, a political man. It's a political game. So you got him. I mean, and he's Nike so, anyway. Nike. So you got, that's, that's, that's I'm just saying Nike. He's he Nike. But you got him and Jalen Bronson. What? I'm just, th I'm, I'm calling the spade a spade. Listen, if, they, that's if, it's, sad, that's a, if it come if, down if, to if picking, do that, that's the sad part. Listen, it's if they the do sad that, part about it. You disavow? If you call the spade, spade. What country are we right? picking? What country are we going to? Huh? I'm saying if they don't, if they do job dirty like that. No, I'm just, I'm just calling the spade a spade. You, gotta, you have to look at reality in this situation. Talent, absolutely. Talent, marketing, no, swag. They got nothing to like, do with marketing. <laughs> and not when it comes to I, that. I, 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 because like, it ain't got nothing to do with your personal. But do you think Nike would apply some pressure? No, bit I, like I, it ain't got well, shit. So if, no, if, if they want him to, no. if they're talking about the, being a face and they, trying to they recreate need his him. face. They they're need gonna him. need him in Olympics. They're gonna need John but Olympics. I don't think it's, they I know, need. I'm just saying that. Listen, I guess, but I, I, I don't. You know me, I would, I'm, I would cut my hair. He right might, right. he might have to wait till 2028 <laughs> when it's in LA. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just looking at this. Talking about too soon. Yeah, that's what. So if not now, though, we gotta feel like if he stays, they gotta start him, him talks it, now. Him, yeah. Ant but if he stays on the straight and narrow, Tatum, I got twenty twenty eight though. And stop, I mean, I, I, no, I'm I just know. talking about oh, yeah, for just yeah, like yeah, the, the, the youth then? for yeah. the youth twenty eight. Yeah, twenty eight. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Okay, but yeah, I'm talking. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying for for my future talent, move forward, just for yeah. the just for that world look. Ja, Tatum, and and Ant Man need to be on that team. I, 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 that's like Mel, that's like that's Mello, Braun, Dwayne, and, uh, Wade. Dwayne Wade. Well, that's like that. your assessment, yeah. and you ain't picking. <laughs> <laughs> your word, our word, don't ma don't mean shit. I'm just looking at reality and what the Olympic team is and what they try to portray for the world to see. He need to be, and they want to be on that team. All the shit that's going on in the world, yeah, right. How do you bring somebody to represent your country? That's Easy. I'm just, I'm, not, I'm just thinking the way the world. I'm e just easy like this. That's, that's easy for you to <laughs> Start say. Start the lineup. <laughs> ja Morant. I'm saying, I hope he does. Listen, I'm in his corner. Trust me. I'm in his corner. I hope he does make it. It's good. for talent. Absolutely gives us the, for him being on Olympic to all that's great. I hope he does. Yeah. I just have to look at the honesty of the, the totality of the situation. Well, the honesty of, and if if we're really being honest, I mean. The rest of the world don't like us, cause we don't portray we don't portray who we say we are. Yeah, but we're bullies. We don't stand no business. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the problem. We stand no business. So stand no business. So technically, he's the perfect person to stand no business for the country. If we're really yeah. thinking about yeah. it, yeah. You know, we, we do love the Second Amendment in this country, which was on him, Draymond Green. Let's get it. <laughs> hey, send him out there. So. Randy See our son opening up? We good. Yeah. <laughs> Stand up in this. <laughs> so, yeah. We talked about this a little earlier in the show. So looking at the future of the league, there's going to be a serious dilemma. LeBron, Steph, KD, 
you know, close on their way out, maybe yeah. four or five more years for there's a, you know, a version of the league that doesn't feature yeah. at least some of those three gentlemen. Josh still only 24 years old, swag on and off the court. Mm -hmm. Kids love his shoes, which is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. Will Ja be the next face of the NBA? He should be. Mm -hmm. I think he's the most important thing for this league coming up. Um, just off, you know, you're talking about an AI influence. You're talking about, um, you know, a guy that can just have every kid and everybody, like all these kids being inspired. I mean, yeah. I mean, he's a walking dollar sign. So, and it, you know, with the way he plays and, and you know, him being so young, um, he's the only one I can see right now. Okay. Him and Jason Tatum. You got to get out the hood, B. Nah. Got to get out the hood, bro. No, I think th th that's what kids, <laughs> like, like the way he, I mean, listen. I hear you. But, but listen, I'm, with, the, I'm from the hood, I, think, I hear you. This is what kids love. Like, I'm an AI like, guy. Chuck my yeah. man, 1,000. I'm, I hear you loud and fucking clear. Yes. Yes. This is not that NBA. It's not. I mean, it's he not, don't have to stop being him. I mean, I'll, I'm not saying stop being him. I'm not saying change who. I'm not saying that. But you got a guy going from a guy who ain't had no controversy ever, and LeBron has been the face of the NBA for the last 20 years. No controversy whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You can't go it just. I'm. I'm, I'm. I'm looking at the business aspect of the NBA. Yeah, I am too. Tatum. Big time, Jai. Tatum, Luca. I'm a big time Jai fan. Just, I mean, all cards on the table, right? Everything face up. And you got to, I just don't think that's what the league will push. But yeah. the league yeah. might not push it, but we see. No, no for, stop but, the bullshit. Just but like, you see the way the kids rock with anybody, y'all, though. That's all I'm saying. It ain't no, fuck, no, no. no. Chocolate. Yo. I think anybody, no, Josh. I think anybody, no, who, I mean, I think anybody who's the face of the NBA always has some controversy. Who? I mean, Mike, Cole. Who? Uh, I mean, they've always had controversy. Some, somehow, some way. I think, I think, Unfortunately, I don't think Kobe was ever the face yeah. of the NBA. Huh? Unfortunately, I don't think Kobe was ever the face of the NBA. No, he wasn't. Yeah, yes, he was. He was Kobe not. Bryant was the face of the NBA at one point. No, he was not. Okay. No, he was not. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. I'm telling unfortunately. I wish he was. He, he, he was the face of the NBA. <laughs> I'm, I, I just... I think... I, I, a lot of competition before, controversy... The controversy, then LeBron coming, I just don't think it's... Because the Wade, it was the Wade, Wade... Um, they had, clean. People, they clean. had clean guys to lean you on, is what I'm saying. Was it the face, though? Yeah. I, have some, I have some magazines, Yes. and I, rem I remember looking at it, it's like, why LeBron is... We think Kobe, yes. We think Kobe, yes, absolutely. As players, right? Absolutely. We like no, talking, being I, the baddest motherfucker in this bitch. As, I was a kid when Kobe was... But that's just, and you're an L.A. guy, but, you but biased. You're an L.A. guy. But you're biased. No, no, no. no. But you're biased. When you're talking about, like, when you're, you're talking about promotion and stuff, there was a point where Dwayne Wade was pushed more than LeBron. You, you're biased. Because Dwayne had no tattoos. Yeah, after the ring, you're talking no, about the ring. No. No, before. just for league shit. When league, when there was league shit being it, Commercials and... How league long? Commercials? year? What, a couple months? No. No. Bro, these are like couple... These are like one or two years. These no, are like, it, like, like what are you talking about? When the with the tats? Man, the, it was the Wayne Wade, it was Shadab was me. It was um, So it was a group of you guys. Yeah, it was a it group. It wasn't just one. So therefore no, I but, don't think Ja. But, but there was no real yeah, Kobe during that time. I'm just th the, the reality is they were pushing other guys. Those back to back years, Kobe wasn't a guy? Those back to back without. So let me ask you this. So just hear me this. So 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 hear me this. Like it was like, but it was LeBron. LeBron. Coming yeah. So hear me this. It was. It was the LeBron Kobe the whole puppets there. I mean. Yeah. So I if the NBA and so if the NBA and a company on a conference call as far as some marketing shit, right? And they gave them two guys. Guarantee. LeBron wasn't bigger than Kobe at that. Time. Guarantee they give him another guy. No. I'm, I'm just I'm telling you dog, the way it works, like, bro. Yeah. What, what, what? B. As big as I'm AI was. I'm telling you, dog. As big as AI was. That's the way business works in that regard. Reebok was his only sponsor. Mm -hmm. What other hey. sponsor did he have outside of Reebok? Should have had a backwoods deal. But, uh, <laughs> see, see, see I'm there you go. If you went out there, you really, see what I'm saying? But he don't smoke. Like, so those, but, so don't so smoke. What are you getting a backwoods deal for? Something. They, could, like, we had to, they, had to, they had to put a whole dress code in just for the one. Because they couldn't sell it. They're like, we like AI, but we can't sell this. And that was the thing. And, and that's when Stephen Jackson then was like, um, 
Just because you, I mean, was it like a bank robber? Just because you put a bank robber in a suit don't yeah. make him. Yeah. Or a murder robber. in a suit don't make him a. But and just imagine his play year in, year out didn't equate more than one league MVP for what he was doing for that fucking team. So you feel like that? He was, just played astronomical where they couldn't fucking deny it that year. Same thing with Kobe. People think about why didn't Kobe get Win the MVP? More. Who he was losing it to? Clean cut. Clean, I just, I'm just calling a spade a spade. Unfortunately, Clean cut way, Canadians. This Clean is the guy. business Tim, that we chose to play. Tim Duncan. You losing to Tim Duncan. You losing to Dirk. You losing to Steve uh, Nash. Steve Nash. He lost, he lost fucking MVP. Come on. And, that man got that man MVP funny, at home, dog. And the funny part is, those, really are the, those are the three main people who didn't want no dress code. Steve Nash, Duncan and Dirt. Duncan and Dirt, like, I'm too tall to be wearing suits. I'm not wearing that shit. <laughs> I'm just yeah. the and the league was at a bad time when those guys were. And the they, because they wouldn't push the best players. I just always feel like it's always going to be in a bad. So if, if, if like Doc's he'll be, not, he'll be our, like be our AI be like, without, without all of Mark. Like he's not yeah. going to be. Like, I'm just calling the spade the spade. Oh, yeah. No. I'm with you. I like he can get, he can get no, no, out. Of, he can get out. I feel like it's gonna be in a bad. I just feel like it's gonna be in a bad. The NBA is gonna be in a bad place once LeBron, Steph, and KD and them leave. Yeah. Nah, yeah, I, I think you got far, clean. I mean, I think far as like, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not. Tatum, gonna, you got clean. Jason Tatum that Tatum played for the. Clean. Yeah, but I'm not. And he gonna, played for the Boston Celtics. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not gonna run to the TV. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, definitely not gonna run to the TV for no, that. I'm but he plays for the Boston Celtics though. Marketing. When you're talking about marketing dollars. Oh, they're in place. He plays for the Boston Celtics, bro. You got, you yeah. got, you got Luca. You got Tatum. Brandon. They can sell Tatum anywhere. Brandon. He plays for the Boston. Celtics. Yeah, but it's not the same. I don't think. I don't think these guys, these type of guys, have that type of it factor. Like, yo, I gotta go see that nigga. Play. Like, I gotta. No, I mean that's not. Like, you know what I'm that's saying? That's gonna be. Ja, but that's gonna be Ja. The Ja is gonna be. So the, that's the. So that's the. the but to me, I mean, to me, that's the biggest. Like, that's the biggest. You talking like when you talk, you're talking about, you know. Having them, them billion do- that billion dollar marketing behind you is going to be Tatum. No, I get it. I mean, the bosses, I get it. But Especially when it comes to the Lakers. But speaking of Ja, who? Jason Tatum. And you got a big guy, you got Nicola, you got Jordan for the next that few Laker years. Jersey? It's just. You know, Ja put a Laker, Ja in a Laker uniform. Mm. Uh, but, that's not being a Laker fan. Him, him, him in LA or Chicago. So we asked the chat, can Ja be the next face of the NBA? Chat, honestly, in a, a non-hating mood lately. 65% said yes, 35% said no. But let's, let's keep it going to that, that second game of the, that TNT doubleheader last night featuring Steph Curry, 30. I got the uh, Tough Crowd Curry collab on in respect. The night-night shirt, obviously. <laughs> but uh, the Warriors have been trending in the right direction since Draymond Green's suspension. Faced one of their biggest tests of the season against the Celtics, who entered the game tied for the best record in the league. Steph Curry showed why he's still one of the best players oh, on the planet. Boom! Put that in your After pipe. dropping a season low seven points in a win against the Blazers Sunday, Steph had the dubs going up on a Tuesday. Curry dropped 33 points and six dimes, going six for 11 from three. Had a message for all the haters that said he doesn't make clutch threes as well. Hitting that dagger three in overtime. Oh, hitting the dagger three, then hitting the subs with that night-night celebration. He brought it back. I know they're having nightmares about that shit. <laughs> but it should be noted uh, that Jalen Brown poked a light skinned bear earlier in the game by doing the too small to Steph. I think we have video of I it. I saw that. Yeah, he was. I saw that. He was feeling himself. He was back in the bay. Draws the foul and scores and says he's Steph, that. Steph ain't like that hey, shit go, one go, bit. Go back real quick. Look at that. Steph hand. actually got his fifth foul on that play. Please, what you about to say? Let me go back. I just want to see. I just want to see something. Oh. Man, he got. Oh. <laughs> you thought somebody texted me. Hey, I'm like, oh, <laughs> they, got, <laughs> they got your text still. No, I'm hey, skipping. Paul, right there. Now, now, the, <laughs> I'm looking at the lineup. Isn't this the lineup I told you that was dangerous for Bo- that was dangerous to play against Boston, right? Um, the Horford, yeah, Horford out there. Porzingis did not play in the game. But it don't matter. Look, look who's at the two and look who's at the three. That means Steph or Clay will have to guard. T- and, and, and this is what I said about Memphis, okay. right? Bain has to guard Tatum or Brown. Those are two six, eight, six, ten guys. And that's where I said Boston's going to, when they put this lineup in, mm-hmm. this is when they're going to be at their best, when they got Brown and Tatum at the two and the three versus the fucking three and the four. And then this is, I just wanted to make sure because I'm like, why is, um, why is Curry on Brown? And we can see why because they went big. That's why I said I don't. I didn't like Drew and White at the the one and the two because it makes them smaller versus. Yeah, Drew's out there. 
Where? That's Drew right there. Uh, behind Kaminga? That ain't no, Drew. Not. Yeah, no, that's a big dude. That's a big. That's a big. Press we're number 88 or some shit. Oh, yeah. Press play. Oh. You play a little? Yeah, you got a headband and everything. I thought it was, oh. No, he, he press big. play. So press play for us again, Apollo, if you could. Just quick play. Boom, see? Yeah, okay, okay. big boy. Yeah. Uh, so Steph picked up his fifth foul on that play. Like I said, Jalen Brown uh, poked the bear, hit him with the two small. Fifth foul? Yeah. That, and that's, that's so, six minutes left? Yeah, and that's why my, and I'm mad at Clay for not fucking going to double. Yeah, you're supposed to go double. Like, you know he got four already. Mm -hmm. It's been said because that's why they, 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 that, that was their third time posting him up. Mm -hmm. You know he got four. In the third. Why the fuck you ain't going to double? Because uh, that white, the, the white was. He was. That's ass. fine. But you rather him make a shot than, than that man get his fifth. But the man played the rest of the game with five fouls. The people on like yeah. he played the, when he got back in the fourth quarter mm -hmm. and overtime. He played all that shit with five fouls. That is bad. That is that is bad coaching on um, Steve Kerr. Absolutely. No, bad coaching on Boston. Azul. Yeah, Mizzou. Oh, not going that yeah. Yeah. Five fouls. Oh, no, they did. Oh, a pick and roll. Oh, we going to get. Oh, no, they did. How the fuck they Oh, they ran shit at. No, listen, trust me. They tried. Mark, they oh, damaged. Yeah, <laughs> they double team trap, made sure. Listen, they tried. They, they oh, did. They got, oh, they just made sure. They five. made sure. Do you feel like they. I mean, them dudes shot 58 threes in that game. Yeah, but that's. that's but I'm saying, but they made yeah, sure. No, no, they ran shit at him, but it was just him playing like this. The double team come. The, he motherfucker rotate out. Right? Or he the one because if he stayed, they're just gonna throw it back. Mm -hmm. So he so he was the one to rotate out. So no, they made sure that he didn't. But no, for, but you know, a lot just shit happens out there when yeah. you playing. You could easily be running through and the motherfucking ball come. You don't see yeah, it. The nigga yeah. cutting through and you running to somebody. Oh shit! Now he got his six. For him to avoid that shit and just stay out of harm's way for that long, it's crazy. It's is amazing. The for him and to, well, win the game. He involved yeah, yeah. every <laughs> single possession, mm -hmm. offensively and defensively. Not to run over he somebody. Go, what? Not nigga step out there, you go floater, and the nigga step over late. Man, oh, shit, late charge or something. like you, Anything could happen. Mm -hmm. but, that's because so, that man played golf. That's the show. Smooth criminal out there, motherfucker. He out there been stepping. <laughs> So Jalen Brown hit him with the two small in the third quarter about six minutes to go. And as my guy, Warriors World, duly noted, uh, Brown fucked around and found out. Steph outscored Jalen Brown 20 to 4 after this moment. So after the game, Shaq has some high praise for Chef Curry and posed an interesting question. He's been consistently the best shooter his whole career. I'm wondering is it time to start putting him as the best player of all time? Best player. I'm gonna say. Over you put him over you. In, in, in the conversation. I'm asking you. Yes. You put him over you. Are you <laughs> yourself. You said yes. Steph yes. Curry yes. over you. Yeah, that this way he's my favorite player because I'm not saying favorite. Played, he might be my favorite too. But I'm just asking you I think played, he's better than you. I played 20 years, watched 20 years before that. I've never seen a guy like him. And he's doing it consistently and he has championships. You put him Maybe over Michael. Time. No, I, no, I'm not putting him anywhere. I'm saying, okay. you know, if for all the children, is it time to just put him in the conversation? Think, what are you talking about? The like, why could somebody propose a question, this is why, how they feel? Like, so you put him above Mike? <laughs> yeah, like, like, God what? damn, he just <laughs> asked a question. Yeah, like, why well, I got to... Like, so, let here. me ask y'all that question the then. Fuck? <laughs> Brandon, we'll start with you, because I feel like I know what your answer is going to be. But <laughs> does Steph belong in the GOAT conversation? Yeah, no, nah, for sure. And why do you say that? Uh, just for what he's done for the game. Uh, he's changed the game. Kids now, I, I remember when I was younger, my first thing was trying to go dunk, right? Do the between the legs, throw it in there. And now I see kids trying to see how far they can shoot the ball. Um, I mean, I think just, you know, how he grew up and like, you know, being underrated and having to prove yourself. I mean, I think anybody that's, you know, that's, that had to prove their self or was underrated and work to be uh, you know, really have to work and, you know, put the time in and, and elevate your game. I mean, I'm always going to put you in there in that type of category. Yo, this, that. I'm just calling Cap on Shaq. You Shaq peddling? <laughs> uh, you can't trust shit he's saying, right? He said, and I quote, I played the game for 20 years and I watched the game for 20 years before that. Cap, that wasn't even possible. You didn't watch... You came into the league at 20 years old, and you was not watching basketball at one, two, and three. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I, 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 I'm that dude. I, no, no, we're not. We're not <laughs> so right there, I'm just calling bullshit on everything he's saying, and Shaquille O'Neal knowing that. Because every time someone has a top five list, mm -hmm. he <laughs> Shaq is not in it. He he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> he's hot. So I, I'm he? pretty... But 
What was he capping about? Just about watching it? Or just capping. Talk- just cap, Just saying stuff. Oh. Just saying stuff. Yeah. Twenty years. But what if it's twenty years cumulative? Guess he said I watched for twenty years and played for twenty years before that. What have you met before and after? No, he said he played twenty years and before that <laughs> watched for twenty years. Okay, but in the black community we say shit all the time. Uh, and we don't just, truly I'm be. Just saying. But you I'm think he's gonna be petty? But do you think he deserves to be in the goat talk? The step deserves to be in the goat conversation with his career as it is right right at this very moment. Listen, every everyone every great deserves to be in the talk. But I can tell you this, if LeBron is having trouble in this goat debate, <laughs> everybody else. If, 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 if LeBron is having trouble in this goat debate, God, God damn it, Steph Curry's going to have a problem. Yeah. So I'm just saying for all Steph Curry fans, listen, just, just wherever you have them right now, just keep it to yourselves because us Jordan fans and them Jordan fans, the stream ones, Trust me, they're going to try to ruin the legacy somehow, <laughs> somehow. to keep them out. <laughs> they're getting old, though, Jill. They're getting <laughs> they, old. They are. They're getting old. Teeth falling out. They're, they're getting old. I think the real question should be, like, who's on your Mount Rushmore of Hoopers? That's a, that should like, be. Like, like, my, you know what I'm saying? Like, instead of being the GOAT, my thing is, like, just ask somebody, who is your Mount Rushmore of Hoopers? At? Do you put Steph well, as one of those four? And, 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 it doesn't, and it's not about, I, I think it's more about, like, n- not, not, like, you know, how great you were. I think it's more about, like, who influenced you. Can we have the GOAT, like, can, is Mount Rushmore four or five? It's four. Four. It's four, it's four, four. people. So, like, who was the ghost of Why? to you? I don't know. Is Wait, it, I know Mount Rushmore itself was four. So it's just, it's just but basketball four. Mount Rushmore is just still four. Have, have any of y'all keep been to Mount Rushmore? No. No. Let's keep it four. Can okay. we go? <laughs> It's always, but it's, but but that's gonna be debatable. So just keep it. At, I, Mount Rushmore four. Everybody five is gonna be fucking different. Yeah. Have niggas even gone to Mount Rushmore? I'm just, no, that's I'm no. Just, I think that's everybody go. five is like gonna be fucking like, different, right? All right. So, so but just but if you want to break it down, right? I gotta wait till he's done. No, no, for you ain't gotta break. You ain't gotta wait till shit done. <laughs> <laughs> Who throughout the history of the game has changed the game of basketball? Who has changed it? That the league has. Change because of that person. Michael Jordan. Shaq. Shaq. Steph. Will got to be in that mix, no. too. If you say then you have he to. He wasn't even in the NBA. Okay, so those three guys automatically. Uh, post-merger? Yeah, post-merger. <laughs> those three guys automatically. Magic? Mm-hmm. No. No, he didn't change. Deserve to be on there, in my opinion. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm. And the guy who has held the crown, did it the longest, been the best player for the last fucking 20 years. Number-wise, everything that you can imagine, marketing, likability. It'd be LeBron. LeBron James. Right? Okay, we want to start, then, okay, now you can, okay, we want to add a fifth. Then we want, okay, now, okay, we add a fifth. Now we got to add a six. Now we got, now, no. no, no. no. Uh, now, but if we think about it in those terms, right, guys that's changed the game of those basketball. Four. Those four. There's four guys. Well, the, the three guys, and then you add LeBron into the mix because who he is and what he's done, the longevity, the, the numbers that he's put up, the everything that becomes LeBron James deserves des, is deserving to be on that. But you know, we don't equate changing the game because if you say, all right, name me your top five, you know, most people are gonna run Jordan and LeBron Kobe. Yeah. Right? Even though Kobe didn't change the game. Yeah. There's no, there's no real fan of basketballs that would say Steph is better than Kobe. Yeah. Right. So you know when we, when you know, so you have to really <laughs> like say, hey, this is how it's starting off. We're using people who change the game first. Right. <laughs> right. And then we go on because when you say yo top four, Kobe's gonna always yep. hit around three or four. Mm-hmm. Right. But when you put Steph in, it's because these are game changers. Like he changed the way we played. Shaq changed the way rules were, you know, same thing with Jordan. So it's, that's why it's these big arguments on what's what. That's why I say, just give me five so I can put everybody I like in it. And I don't, yeah, have, yeah. To, I don't have to worry about nobody's. Yeah, five is. But do you put Steph in over Magic? Yeah, Gil, it's that time. What, in the Mount Rushmore? Of, in your top five. Oh. We interviewed Steph. Steph said, you know, it's between him and, him and Magic. Naturally, Steph felt like he was a better point guard than Magic. We grew up in Los Angeles. We know the impact. But we talked had. about the point guard position. Yeah. And how it's, it's changed and evolved. But I see you, Gil, and you're, you're 41 years on this earth. Okay, look. <laughs> okay. I don't like that one. It's a tough like, one. I, it's, it's, it's tough because the game, the, 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 the game, 
Magic, the, the game was mer the game merged the year the, a year after Magic or the year before Magic got there, right? So it's a different league. I mean, you know, <laughs> two hundred and sixty people were being drafted every year, so the talent wasn't as good. But him as a player was really different. You can argue that like, Magic saved that league, though. Yeah, no, he did. Now he literally saved that league. Him and him, him and, and Bird, right. they did. When you watch Magic's skill set. One thing no one really talks about is he had impeccable vision. The vision he had was unreal. Like, when you watch some of the things, like, how did he see that, right? You know, at 6'9", ran. You know, he was just a different player. But the reason he didn't change the game is you couldn't duplicate it. You couldn't duplicate that. It was kids wasn't growing up saying, oh, I'm about to be 6'9". <laughs> you know what I mean? That was the only reason... We can't put him in the conversation of game changers, even though he he was the the alien. He was just this whole different. Even Jordan, everybody wasn't growing up being fucking six six with forty eight inch vertical, right? But he had to change the rules on how he played. Magic was just different. It was something that we didn't see and we probably won't see again with all of it in there. Being six nine with Jason Kidd, you know, uh, Steve Nash, motherfucker, uh, Pistol Pete Vision. It's just a different dude, right? So when you look at it from how he played the game, it's like, eh, it's never going to be another one of those, I can tell you that. He might not be a game changer, but there's not going to be another one of those. So... What's your I just said that just to say it. Just to put <laughs> you it tried to there. get it off. I just, just, I just, I just, I'm trying to get away from it. I'm just trying to get away from it. I'm trying to get away from it. Hey, God. Hey. <laughs> hey, you know, I tried to hey. throw a whole bunch in there and just, ah, let it float in there so I didn't have to pick nobody. So you, <laughs> so you like the regular sports media people right now. So that's the answer you just gave. You like, you like hey, I'm going to go on the limb. <laughs> no, I just, I just, I, I can't, I can't. I'm going to be a, a hooper, someone who played. I can't say who's better be, because, one, I didn't play against Magic. Oh, yeah. I can see it. I ain't saying to say who's better. We, we didn't answer right? that. We did. That wasn't the question. Because all we're going off of stats. The quest, no, we're not going off we're stats going off neither. Gilbert Arena. I'm not, we, we're not going off of stats Gilbert Arena presented my own offense. Well, we're, we're not going off of stats neither. Who you take? But So I, I, I give you a second <laughs> to think about it, right? <laughs> and the reason I think Magic is... <laughs> not revered in the way that we look at him throughout the history. He shared, he had to share the spotlight at the time mm -hmm. with then Larry Bird, which most of the country yeah, loved half and half, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I think more than half was Celtics fans than Lakers fans at the time because of the color of his skin. I'm mm -hmm. just saying. It's called what it is. Fair, fair enough. 1979? Yeah. <clears throat> 1980? Just think yeah, about it. Fact. In the climate of the country then when they come in, if people had to chew, like, it just, it's just what it is at the time. So I think that's played a factor, but magic helped the transition into Mike. So now there was more people on the board of Magic than when Mike came along. It was like, okay, him. You know what I'm saying? With you throwing that out there, then that, do you think we're underestimating how good Magic was then? Because if the merger happened in 78, right, mm -hmm. which was all basically all white, yeah. right? And when Larry Bird... Bird came in. It was basically, it was basically his 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 NBA. Absolutely. The fact that today <laughs> Magic is in front of him. If it was an even playing field, yeah. how big would Magic be then? Oh, just... because think about what he had to do to still be over Bird today. Yeah. Bird ain't in no one's top five. Magic is in everyone's top five. So how big would Magic have been if if it was just lead, him? If it was just him. It's the greatest ever. Yeah, but you also, I mean, you have to factor in the Lakers getting that number one pick. No, magic coming to LA. No, no, just, just, just him about being him. him. Just same Magic Johnson without having to share the spotlight with Larry Bird. How about if Magic came in in the 90s? Where the league was kind of like, all right, okay, we, 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 black people been here for 10 years. <laughs> the blacks has been here for about 10 years now. <laughs> we good. <laughs> 
Right? If you if he would have been in class of 82, <laughs> instead of 79. Just, just to, if he would have been, like, just... But do you feel like Magic has the same impact influence if he's in Milwaukee or Houston? Still yeah, with no, the Lakers? The, the no, being in L.A. I mean, being in the Lakers uniform. But, but I'm it came saying. in winning, though. Yeah. So the, but, the, but, the, the coming in off top, Brook, y'all, that, that helped the, the winning because it helped solidify that the Lakers are this and we didn't get it wrong, he is that. Mm -hmm. that, that helped It's everything. Hollywood, though, is what I'm saying, though. It's, it's, it's the entertainment capital of the world. It's where he everybody perfect. in the country wants to move right. to. He's not, I don't know if he's doing that same thing if he was in San Antonio or wherever. Wherever else around I just, the league. I, I just wonder how, like, you know, especially when you think about racism back then, and, you know, they would have been pushing Bird way more than Magic. So it was like, today, how is, or even back then, by the time we got to the 90s, how was Magic always in front of Bird with the whole lopsided agenda? Like, that means they were... You know, they were just like, we're, you know, for LeBron and Jordan. They're tweaking it for one person. So how good was Magic if they're tweaking it for Bird in the first place? Yeah. Even though Bird was great, but the fact that, like, you would think that, all right, Bird, then Magic, or they're right then, but it's like Magic's at 4 or 5, and then Bird's at 11, 12. So it's like, ah, uh, I mean, Magic must have been really out there, motherfucker. Ah. Yeah. No, he, and you, do you think because of the way his, his career ended, too? Yeah. All of it. Do you think he, because yeah. he, didn't, he didn't get the finish yeah. All of it plays a factor. Okay. Yeah. All of it plays a factor. Because you just, yeah. People, people have memories like an elephant when they want to. Mm hmm. Mm. They want to they wanna remember shit that's convenient for them to fit their narrative. So, yeah. It's... So, with that being said, move on to the next one so we don't have to really. Oh, pick. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not picking. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> we're not getting picking. out of this. No, no, we're not picking. But, 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 I'm, but, but, but I'm gonna throw this out here. My, my, my Mount Rushmore just hooper ever to pick up a ball. I'm putting Skip Tamalu in there. Okay. Rayford. And one, and Rayford. one legend. New York City. Influence. Just to pick up a basketball, just to so ever that, like as a le at, at 11 years old. Yeah. Turn my mic off. I gotta go to the bathroom. For sure. On that note, I'm gonna go. Right. To for sure. Yeah, for sure. Ray Foster and one mixtape. Oh, that's what you grew grew yeah, up. Grew up on, yeah. Ray Foster, for sure. And what makes yeah, you get it? Just climbed over the couch and did a ninja style. Too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 hey, Dan, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. We're not talking about was Bird not good or not. We're this, saying, Gil, we're, you're, but you you have the conservatives already in the uproar because you're Draymond stuff. No, so this clip is going to get flipped now that you hate no, white basketball players. No, no, no. I'm yeah, saying, I'm just saying. No, no, what I'm saying is if 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 Bird has this big advantage because he was white, right, and he was good, right, not just white. He's white, averaging 28. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's Luca right now. He's yeah, but so how how did Magic surpass him? If they both got the same Magic, they both got Magic beats him though in the Natty game. Magic gets to come to LA. I'm saying Bird in Boston. Mm -hmm. It couldn't have worked out more perfect for the league. Right, what I feel right, like, right. and that's kind of my point. Like if you put Magic in another city, he's still an amazing player, still a Hall of Famer. But for what LA was at that time, Hollywood would have represented, and even what it represents now. So, so you think like, Hollywood kind of it just pushed him to pushed a home, him, yeah. pushed him to it. But he had the charisma, and this is what you're talking about, like Jalen Brunson the other day, in a major market. But that name, in terms of just the star power, amazing basketball player. But even a guy like Ja, you got to have those other ingredients and factors to it that now the kids embrace it. And then you don't even talk about magic from a business side, like the business acumen off the chart. Getting the, those uh, graphic T-shirts out back in the day, pissing Jordan off, starting a movie theater, unlimited strawberry soda refills. <laughs> Just telling you, visionary. From so Mag like, so people say, say, so now look, look. So somebody wrote, Bird was better than Magic. Gilbert, stop it. Then why is Bird not in anyone's top five? That's 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 the question. Like you're not listening to what I'm saying. Mm. You're listening to the answer. If Bird was better than Magic, how is Magic? In front of Bird, they both got five rings, right? So how if Bird, oh Bird got three, how is Magic in front of Bird on all categories? Is the, the this that's the question I'm asking? They thinking I'm saying something. I'm I'm asking the question. If Bird was better than Magic in everyone's eyes, and he was white also, and he was this killer, how did Magic surpass him on all basketball categories? Just play and then. Five, that, that's the question five I'm asking. Five and three. Five, five, you know what I mean? Five and three. Five and three. 
Five versus three. Five and nine three. finals appearances, 12 years, five titles. Coming in as a rookie, though, winning the chip, winning finals MVP. I'm just that's, saying, like. That's like, that's like, that's like, that's like Luca winning right now. Luca winning three championships, and at the end of their career, Ja is in front of him in all categories. Right? You'll be, you'll be sitting like, how the fuck did that happen? But good. <laughs> if, Jai, if Ja came in dropping 40 in the finals, I'm just saying, like. I, okay, I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's. For Magic from the jump. I'm already a champion. So now they came in, all right, Magic beat you in the Natty game. Magic wins a championship in his first NBA season. He's so in when, LA. What I'm saying is, I need to, I, y'all know I'm going to go back and look at all articles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go look at all articles because I, I want to see when did, I, like I always thought like it was always Magic and Bird. Ma- video game, shoes, yeah. like it was always them too. So when someone always used route, Mount Rushmore, right, this is early 90s, right, Bird and Magic was always together. Right? It was always Jordan, Magic, Bird. Um, when you hear um, Jay-Z talk, Jordan, Magic, Bird. I'm like, Jordan, Magic, and Bird all rolled in one. Where, when, where's the separation that moved Bird so far away from Magic? Like, when? When, when did it happen? You, but you especially talk 84 to 86, uh, Bird winning three straight MVPs, so... But th- th- that's th- it's now interesting. Think, now think yeah. about what I'm saying. Yeah, like, how, how when we do a top 10 right now, when did Bird move so far away? With all new players coming in, Kobe, right, Shaq, Magic is staying in place. Bird is the one that's being bopped out. Because yeah. at some point in the middle of the 90s, he was top five ever. I think it's position. Mm. LeBron? Pos- LeBron, KD. Yeah, he a three. But even if he's just a wing, period. I, th- I don't think we differentiate twos and threes. When we talking about that, yeah. we look at him as a wing. Yeah. And if you're thinking about it in that regard, he's fighting Kobe, he's fighting Braun, he's But but it, but it's still it, so it's, but it, but it but still, right? If 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 Bur- yeah, but it's I weird. Hear. Like, okay, think about okay, like, let's say when they both retired, right? Who was the top five? Jordan, I mean they still had Jordan in the early. So Jordan, Magic, Bird, um, Kareem and Wilt. And Wilt. Wilt probably, yeah. Right, so those was the five, and, and, and Bill Russell. Bill, Will, Bill Russell. So, that, so, you know what I mean? Every new player that came in, <laughs> how was Magic still right there at the four, the six area? And Cause you got Bird a, because somehow. You got a, because you got a guy by the name of LeBron James. Yeah, because I, I think his position. LeBron ain't nobody James ever seen nothing like it. And like, to, to your point, he was the alien. He's the 6'9 point guard. Ain't nobody ever seen anything like it and haven't seen anything like it. So I think his spot in that is it just, it, it's solidified because of who he is and what he, what he did for the game and his stature and, and ability. I think solidified that no matter what people might have want to Go into the conversation negativity wise, negative wise. I, I just don't think it like it, it outshadowed what he did for the game like, and who it's, he is. It's because twenty, I mean, ten more, twenty more years, ten more years at least, ten more years. If Curry is not the number one point guard ever, Magic would be the number one point guard ten more years from now, and. Bird wouldn't even be the top four small forwards. Yeah, Bird wouldn't even. That is be interesting. Like Bird wouldn't. Even, yeah, it'd, it'd be like Bird. And that's yeah. crazy when they well, retired and it was. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because it's not <laughs> two and three. Because you got to look at it. But because you also have to start putting it in real context, though. They not the the point guard position now. It's not. Considered a point guard mm-hmm. anymore, so to speak. Unless you, you, we got a couple guys that's that's coming along now, to, but most of the guys now you got to have a certain skill set in order. And most of those guys now, like to your point, if you're a six five two guard, you're small. Mm-hmm. So now guys come in, they playing these positions. You want taller, younger, faster, athletic. So now you got guys coming in, now you're looking at these guys, so okay, if he has this skill set, then I'm going to put him at this position. Mm-hmm. So you got 6'9", 6'10", 3 men. 
six, seven, two guards and point guards. Like you got a guy like Shea, Shea out here, six, seven, playing a point guard. Yep. Because they're not looking at them guys. So Magic came through and he was the, oh shit, he, this guy does it all. But historically, the point guard position guys, you 5, 11, 6. If you 6, 4 as a point guard, you are, you're considered a big point guard. Here's another question. What? Do you think it was purposely done to keep Magic and Jordan's legacy where it is? When, <clears throat> when LeBron came in, right, <clears throat> he was considered a Magic Johnson 2.0 with Jordan-like jumping ability, right? Mm -hmm. Magic Johnson 2.0. Do you think because he was so good so early that it would have moved Magic out? Because if, if LeBron James was... Because they both were the same. They both came in as shooting guards. Both considered point forwards. Mm -hmm. Magic is a point. LeBron is a small forward. Yeah. Do you think that was intentional? Because if they had LeBron as a point, they would have LeBron... They would have Matt, uh, uh, LeBron as the number one point guard. My first question for, for everybody so. on this couch, though, is do you consider LeBron a point guard? Or has he played the point guard position for long stretches of his career? Because they list him as small forward. I've always looked at him as a small forward. Okay. Even Just because he got the ball in his hand, he's playing. I've always looked at him. But even if, if he's initiating the offense on offense, you still Because think. he's always had a guy out there that played the position. But that was... But, but, but for offense or for defensive purposes? When you looked at the fucking stat sheet, most of his career, it motherfucker had an SF next to it. But that's but that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But 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 they did that with. And Matt. they had a guy. But they had a guy that was had a PG next to it and an SG. And I just look at them guys for what that is for most of their career. What we look at him as and what he is being voted in all stars and stuff like. I, I just look at him as that position and what I don't look at. He's the playmaker on the team, but he's the dominant player on the team. So he's going to have the ball in his hand to make those decisions. But see, that was the same thing with Magic. Magic, they, they had the guards. But he had a PG next to his name. Who I know, but they have a PG in the, on the team. But, he, but they had the PG next to his name. And they had the SG next At, to Norm Nixon. I mean, no, no, Norm Nixon had PG. They had, so, so they didn't have PG, PG. No, no they, but, had, they had shooting guard. They had Magic. Magic when, came, when in, he came shooting in, shooting guard. Okay, but then eventually it changed when they got rid I of think Norm. I think five. But when they got rid of Norm Nixon, it changed to PG. Yeah. Right? So that's what people looked at. But Magic. same thing with LeBron. There was a few years where they put him at point guard yeah, just to put him. Yeah, but yeah. still. But okay. throughout his career, he's been a small forward. You had Eric Snow. You had, you had other guys who technically played the position. Okay. Yes. By, by. But would you consider him even in that point forward range then if he's playing? Yeah, because he got the ball there. He's, yeah, he's okay. deaf. He's the, he's the dominant decision maker on the team. I, I just like, like on the, the idea break, that he's bringing the ball up the floor. The point guard very seldom, unless they're trying to get, get into a certain set, that the point guard is bringing the ball up the floor. I just like the idea that you say this is Magic Johnson 2.0, and then when he starts doing all this, you're like, oh, no, he's small forward. We're going to take, <laughs> take the small forward of him, not the point guard. Now, Magic gets the stage. Of, instead, of, instead of it really being LeBron at the point, Jordan at the two. Yeah, but KD at stop three. all the debate. Like, you <laughs> ask him what he think he, like, what do you think you are. And I think he will say he's a small forward. Like, I'm the best. Small I'm going to ask him that think, question. I think he would say I'm the best small forward of all time. Not, I'm the best basketball player of all time, for sure. But I'm the best small forward of all time. Oh, yeah, I'm a, that's, yeah, I never asked my question. Hey, can you, to your point, you go back and look at LeBron's career. Prim primarily a shooting guard. A shooting guard to start, small forward for a number of years. Power forward for a little bit during his time in Miami. Mm -hmm. Small forward when he came back to Cleveland. One year as point guard, 2019-2020. Uh, the year the Lakers won the hardest two championship. Years. Yeah, so they the bubble. Oh, two years, excuse me. Two years point guard, then they put, and then they put him at the center, and then put him at power four, power four. <laughs> and they just do shit, man. So he's either the greatest center ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know, greatest center ever in NBA history. Also won the assist title. Yeah. And Magic, to your point. And they should, you know what? What did Magic start up? They shooting guard for a number of years. But say the first four years, he was a shooting guard. But we, we yeah, interviewed my pops a while ago, and he said Norm, Norm played a lot of shooting guard as well, despite yeah. his Yo, height. They should have did it to mess up the votes for All-Star, though. 
like just left him at the position like all year, like for All Star voting, put him at the center and see what he get voted. Like let him get yeah. voted in the All Star game as a center and then leave somebody off. It, oh, it, yo, then the power forward, then have they him. They don't have centers before. no more. But I'm saying that's what they should have did before. Yeah. Like just put him at the position, let him get voted in for that because he was a leading vote getter, fucking every year. You know, yeah. so it just it would have left somebody off that wouldn't get voted <laughs> in that was <laughs> killing at the five. <laughs> Yeah. Just petty as a mother. But that's what I said. Magic came in as a shooting guard yeah, I'm with four you. years, but he was never. But as I said, he was never a shooting guard. He had balls. He was pop. He was his primary pop. ball handler. Yeah. So, so Magic or Steph, Gil? Yeah. You still ain't answering. still ain't answering the damn question. I'm not. I don't want no parts of this. You plead the fifth? Wait till we finish. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wait till we finish. I'm going to wait till we finish. Brent, Why you, you got, wait you got Steph Why? over Magic huh? at this Why? point? Why? Yeah. Because be, the reason, because my point guard is LeBron James. So I put LeBron and Michael Jordan at the one and the two. No issue with that. I got the most. I never athletic. Seen Magic I got the so. most athletic one-two ever in history. Magic was very exciting. Showtime. If you get a chance, nah, yeah, watch, no. watch the HBO series. When you look at just when you look at highlights, man, you be like, "Dang, no, for sure." This is this. You want some? The highlights don't do it for me. But it's really, nah, it's, it's not, really your, at this point, it's your preference. I'm a big LeBron guy, but I can't knock Steph fans. I can't knock MJ fans, Kobe fans. Like it's about respect. But I always respect your opinion as players. They're greats. You know what I mean? The greats. At the what end of the game. day. Yeah. We all know the variables that go on with teams, teammates, organizations, all the other shit that, that goes. But everybody's so focused on accolades and winning when a lot of that stuff is out of those guys' control at a certain point. If that franchise is not giving you what you need to do it. And let's look at the Warriors just a little bit. Are, are they giving Steph what he needs right now? Like, can Steph... Continue carrying the Warriors at this pace all season. Hey man, don't say Clay is doing his thing. We're going to talk Clay in a second. I just said it. Anything you want to say to Clay? Go. He's doing his thing. Okay. He's doing his thing. So he's been listening. So should he bet on himself? Ain't been like, yeah. No, 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 no. Because you know, I didn't even realize it that two games ago was the first time he shot 19 shots or above. When that's what he used to put the ball up. Mm -hmm. So the, out of the last uh, three games, he shot over 19 shots, right? Um, they're three and zero since he's been balling, or three and one since he's been balling. Um, he's 19 for 19 for his last 19 free throws. Would you like to know what uh, Clay's been averaging with, during Dre's suspension, Gil? 27 points, four rebounds, 3.3 assists, 43% from the field, 40 from three. They should have paid my man first. Yeah, that no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt him. Pay my man first. It's going to hurt him in the long run. It's going to hurt him because, you know, um, he's about to be 35. So it's, right now it's just tricky with numbers. It's 35. It's tricky with numbers, right? Ideally, I want him for two years. If I give him four years, the money's going to drop. I give him more money for two years than I would for four. Four year, 25 million. They pay. Two year, 35 million. So Claire will be 34 in February. 34. But my question for you is, if you, Clay, just put yourself in his position, are you taking that, that two-year deal or that, are you trying to get the most bread you can and trying to go forward for less bread? It all depends, right? It's, right it's, 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 it's what you do as business, right? You got four-year, 100, two-year, 52, 70, right? My right, two-year, 70, not two-year, two-year, yeah, two-year, 70, Three year ninety, right? And say, all right, pick which one you want. Do you want the four years or do you want? Right, it all depends on where he's at mentally. I mean, they gave Dre what four for hundred. He yeah. can't put the ball in the yeah. basket like him. So they got to make it up. Basketball shit, right? <clears throat> Clay playing better because he's able to. Of course, he's a great player, but. You got a guy like CP out there. Mm -hmm. What Clay do best? Catch and shoot. Mm -hmm. And CP out there, motherfucker, putting him right where he want to. Now you got a guy like John DeCaminga that's putting pressure at the rim, rolling, mm -hmm. picking. I see what you're doing. Picking, rolling. Uh oh. There's space. Like he's picking, he's, he's causing a problem at the rim, so now guys have to react to it. Mm -hmm. Now he's catching, being able to shoot, catch one dribble. Guys running at him now instead of. We got to focus in on him defensively and not let him get off. Now he's able to play more freely, like he was playing before when you had KD out there. You had guys who efficient in their play, which Chris Paul knows. One thing he knows how to fucking do mm -hmm. is get guys open shots. There was a few times last night I'm looking at, see, that what, 
shooting seems to be he boom, boom, pump, and he getting guys to. Mm -hmm. So I think he's able to play freely, and you got guys that's putting pressure at the rim like Jonathan Kamin because he's rolling. He's not a pick and pop guy. So when a guy rolling that's athletic, you got to pay. You you have to tag it. You got to react to it because if not, he's throwing a bitch to him, and it's gonna be a dunk every play. So I think CP is helping. Oh, I thought regard. you was on. The, I thought you was going down. Uh, 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 no, no, no. I thought no, you were no, saying no. it. D no, does no, this. never. No, no, no. Oh, never, never. No, 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 no. no. I'm just saying it, because C. No, that's a great. CP argument. a better offensive threat than Draymond. So that, the ball is in his hand. He's a better offensive threat. So now you have to play him different when he's in the pick and roll because you're not throwing the ball in the post. How they throw the ball in the post to Dre? Let Dre. They split. Mm -hmm. Now it's that action. Now teams, they didn't guard at that shit forever, so now they didn't somewhat figured out how hard to guard the splits and mm -hmm. things in that regard. Now you add a different dynamic to it when a guy that's a playmaker who's a pass-first guy and who's going to make the right play every single time mm -hmm. and no turnovers. That makes all the difference in a shooter and a score where he ain't got to work as hard to get his shot now. Before Clay knew well, we didn't see enough the start of the season, whatever, like, he's having to take three, four, five dribbles to get his shit off. And that ain't what he do. Mm -hmm. Now he's able to want, want two, want, it's, it's that quick decisions now because CP is putting him in those positions too. Because he, now the, the guys are having to react to certain things and CP does a good job of getting in the window, making guys react to it. Now you got a road threat and a lob threat, which CP thrives in. Mm -hmm. When you got a road threat and a lob threat for CP, now you can get at the rim. You got this, 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 that with him. And you got shooters, Steph, Clay. Now you still, you still got to worry about 30. You ain't leaving him. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's just basketball. It's my bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> but it makes, you, it, it makes you think, you know, with this three weeks vacation that Draymond has, mm -hmm. when, he come, when he comes back, if... If Kaminga and Clay is playing very well, right? Because Kaminga's bringing something different, or because he's athletic, when he does roll, it actually opens up a whole nother category that hasn't been opened up before. Yeah. That helps Clay. That helps Curry, right? That pass that Curry got, right? He, he's catching it as a shooting guard, yeah. right? That wasn't. <laughs> that's 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 uh, CP finding him. Do you bring Dre back off the bench? Do you? I think they're a better situation suited with Jonathan Kaminga on the floor. Yeah, and and that's and that's the and that's like just mentally when you when you're on these teams and you ain't playing. This is why you gotta always mentally be ready to play because you don't know what's gonna happen. And when they call on your name, your ass better be ready. And this is Kaminga's chance to say, "Hey, I'm an NBA player." Jackson Davis. Yeah. Last yep. Yep. Athleticism around the rim, dog. He creating a problem around the rim. Offensively and defensively. Light skin, light skin? Light skin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is it uh, Dale Davis' mm -hmm. kid, right? Yep. Dale Davis, right? Not Antonio. It's Dale Davis' kid. Athletic, <clears throat> creating a problem around the rim. Pick, roll. He's creating a problem so those dudes, shooters, man. Him and Camille got there together. Yeah, that's trouble. They played great down the stretch and in overtime. They played them 17 straight game minutes together. The guy wasn't in the rotation three week, two weeks ago. Jackson Davis wasn't in the rotation two weeks ago. It's your point. Stay ready. Two straight ready. good games. Two, and you have a formula now. You, know, you, you put that on the floor. I love what Looney does. He's definitely serviceable because the offensive rebound what he does in that regard. But and you, moving on. You bring a different dynamic when you a lob threat and a road threat to, the, to this NBA. To, the, to, to this NBA to this and those NBA. two players you got. Absolutely. But we've talked about it. At what point would the Warriors have to start trusting their young core more, kind of giving these guys opportunities? Dre kind of created that situation, obviously, uh, by slapping the shit out of Nurk. There's been reports from Shams that if Kaminga came in, he performed well, there'd be talks about having him be permanent starter, bringing Dre off the bench. Obviously, nothing lasts forever, but... No, the writing, you know, the, the, the writing's on the wall because just in three games, you can see there's a real big difference offensively. And um, defensively, I don't, 
Defensively, they're not losing as much as they would have thought. Right? They're not. You got athlete, you have two athletic guys out there. Taller, more athletic. Yeah, they're challenging shit at the rim. So um, you can teach them, and you can yeah. you can defensive help film. Film can help defensive mm-hmm. shit, dog. Spacing, situational shit, team shit. Film can make that gap up for Dre and him. I'm just I just great as Draymond is, defensive player of the year, all that thrones included. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, mm-hmm. taking nothing off Draymond's plate whatsoever. Yeah. But look, nothing lasts forever again. At some point, at some point, you gotta come back. These decisions are gonna be made, but Dre's gonna have to come back. And Gil's, like you said before, like coming back to a team, this is a different look team now. Now these guys gotta yeah, build some confidence. Now you walking back in early January after a couple weeks off. Early January, let's say they. I'm gonna say a Let's say they 12 and 1, 12 and 2. Like, yay, they looking at you. Like, <laughs> if you mess up one more time, you you the Jordan Poole now. We want you out. Um, right? It all depends on where that. It depends on how they're playing at that moment in time because you ain't gonna be able to I come agree. back and just and disrupt right everything. Yeah. Yeah. Right, cool. Then you got the guys like. <laughs> oh, he got his money. Mo- Moses Moody. <laughs> Mo- the Moody, Moody, Moody. They still gonna got. need to make a Shout move. Per the legend going to state, they still gonna need to make a move though, mm. and that's what do they, yeah, they are gonna know, need it. Like they but, still need to make a move. But we've they, talked with pieces, what gets moved. I mean, you know, you got Dunleavy in there. He, he may not have the loyalty and allegiance that Bob Myers did. You gotta make a move. Like, he we gotta get. You said he gotta. No, what I'm saying, like, I, I'm, like, but let's just hypothetically, let's, let's just say, oh, okay, let's just say, mid January, this team is like twelve and two. Okay, right. Mm-hmm. A package for Draymond Ooh, and do. Wiggins to bring in another score? I'm not fighting it. And, uh, I mean, I wouldn't be mad because, you know, at that point, I, I, I mentally already said, you know, Kaminga's going to be my four. Now I'm just basically using Dre to, and Wiggins to give me back a, a nice three. Like I said, nothing lasts forever. We we will monitor that situation. Right. Got three years on that deal. Year, yeah. Still, but then, then I don't mind signing Play playback. I'm saying a reasonable price, twenty five no, a year, whatever it is. Yeah. That's not absurd, is what I'm saying. You can get something for that. Four for one hundred. I yes, for the Golden State Warriors. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm. Yes, Draymond has. Yes. Hall of Fame, yes, for what he's done, but does Draymond fit another team? What Draymond brings to the, t- the table? Yeah, he can, the Lakers, is, yeah, we can, we can use him over here. We can have him. The Lakers for sure. Yeah, the Lakers for sure use him. No, for sure. The Lakers can use him. Yeah, we the need some people choked up. Other than that. Yeah, other than other, none of that team. <laughs> other than him other than him being the enforcer for the Lakers. That's all we need at this point. Other than that. Other than that. <laughs> I'm just... He only need one team, Lakers. Oh, he needs one team? Yeah. That's all it takes is one. I, yes, we all know that. Mm-hmm. We talking about basketball Miami? here. We talking about basketball here. Right. Miami? Okay. No, I mean, I just think you the Lakers. Feel, you because don't feel like I, Miami? I, I think he going to need to play with somebody that's just, like, he, he cool. He, There's another team, Gil. Oh, Boston. Uh. Hey, man, him over there in Boston? Is that Al Horford? Yeah. Uh. No, I mean, I mean, besides the besides the, the shooting what, part. Of so you got. I'm thinking. You know, I'm thinking. We're talking about basketball. Yeah, besides, I'm thinking. Yeah, we're talking about basketball here, fellas. And with basketball, it comes mental. So I'm thinking off the court, Lakers. He, he got a home here. Like he's from here. His wife, like very, very yeah. friendly. Oh, with no, the yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? What is he? easy. Where does he fit in with the Lakers? Just go do you. You would <laughs> Just go do you. I mean, that's all. I mean, the Lakers just need. Just go do you. I mean, to be honest, what is, and wh- take out Prince. Don't give me. I mean, no, uh, no. Torian Prince makes shots, no, dog. No, no, I just thought, no, he don't. He no, takes shots. Well, no, well, he, take, he, I'm about to say, yeah, I'm about to say, he don't make shots. He take uh, them. <laughs> he ain't making shit. I mean. We need well, to cut them dreads. All right, well, let's talk about a, a, another potential trade rumor. Uh, <laughs> Cavs All-NBA guard Donovan Mitchell's I'm, name has been mentioned. <laughs> possible trade target this season, according to ESPN's Brian Winhurst. <laughs> the Heat, Knicks, and Nets all have interest in acquiring the four-time All-Star. Mitchell's a New York native. Before he got traded to the Cavs last season, Knicks seemed like the favorite to land him. 
Got one more year on his deal and a player option in 2025. He's set to make, he's making like 33 this season, 35 next season. Gil, which team could benefit the most from trading for Donovan Mitchell? We got the Heat, Nets, Knicks are amongst that three. They're oh, wait, he up on the books? Huh? He up on the books? Well, no, I just from trading. He, I mean, Heat need more scoring. Um, Averaging 28, six, and, and six assists this season. Heat need more scoring. Okay. They need some more with Jimmy. Um... I mean, if, if you send them to New York, who are you getting rid of? Right? Brunson got that thing on the swivel over there, so. <laughs> yeah, he got that thing on the swivel. So, I, he, he would be the best move. Okay. Damn, I like that. Huh? I like that. I don't know who, who they getting back in Cleveland, but. <laughs> I don't know who they getting back And that's crazy that he's on. name always mentioned in these. That's crazy that he's, like, could be on the move again. Under, like, under, under, there's your undersized shooting guard, man. No, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? That's the... Yeah, <laughs> I... Undersized shooting guard is like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Sacramento? Yeah, somebody in the chat said Kings. I was about to... I'm about to say Sacramento? Oh, Who you get rid of? But, but, uh, yeah. Who you get rid of? I already have Fox. Small. Same... Right? You know what I mean? Uh, like, I, I this, think, gotta, <laughs> like, you got to... Think about it. When we go up against... Think about it like this. When we go up against Tatum, which one of us is guarding Tatum, sir? <laughs> right, right. You know, or, Fox or damn, they, Mitchell. In their own conference. Uh -huh. We go, we got to play Phoenix. Uh -huh. One of us got to guard Devin Booker. <laughs> one of us got to guard Kevin Durant. No, no, the other one got to guard, guard Bradley Beal. But I'm saying <laughs> Bradley he, more, Beal. he more of they. <laughs> but still, you still, one, somebody got to guard. So it's just, so you run into the same. You know, like it's, it's like, mm. as I said, the only, per, the only, the, all, there's, there's only a few guards that's, that are, like, you got Luka who's 6'9", so at him at the point, you can technically say he's a 2 and then go get you a point that's 6'2", six, 6'3", six, okay. and fine. He off-balances that. When you got your guards already 6'2", six, 6'3", six, you don't need to bring in a shooting guard that's 6'2", 6'3". Six, six, Y'all are babies out there, man. I'm just, no, yeah, no, I'm just surprised he's on the move that, that much already. Because you, you got Garland. Because Garland's more of a point guard, so. And what is the... <laughs> it's all about winning and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Is he helping win? No, I think they got. Shit, I think they were better when, before he got there. Clearly. Exactly. That was just me though. So, before, so before you he answered got, your like, own when question. They were making that little run. So you answered your own question. What? You surprised that he don't know? You're not surprised because they were winning before he got there. So now they're realizing uh, we should have kept what we had. You got that's what I said. Right? Him, and, him and Garland, you're like like Garland's more of a point. Right. And a better decision it, with the ball in his hand. So I'd rather have him and then, you know, I don't know if Amani Bates put him at the shell. I got I can put him at the two. I think that must I think about how I, I mean I look at the game. I got if I have if I have Garden at the one, I can come in and put Amani Bates at the two. He can guard twos and he's he becomes a six nine shooting guard. So is Donovan Mitchell better off just coming off the bench? No. no. And then you got to, no. so now I mean, you waste, so now I mean, you got a top I mean, five you, you, pick in, so you got a top five pick in Mobley, you got mm -hmm. a top five pick, um, the other kid, um, <laughs> uh, no, 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 um, the KJ drafted, the 20 kid they drafted, um, not that good of a basketball player, made small forward, whatever it is, mm -hmm. but you got him in the top five pick. Yeah. Okoro. Yeah. Okoro, him, he not that good. He's not. <laughs> He, he, yeah, he's he not can't the, go to Miami. Yeah. Where he go? So now you, so now you got Donovan Mitchell. What about Brooklyn? Can he go to Brooklyn? Yeah. No, better one of those three. Brooklyn ain't got. What? Yeah, yeah. We already got Cam. At the, you got Cam yeah, Thomas. He's same height. Yeah, yeah. Better yeah. score in my opinion. Younger. No, Cam's bigger. He bigger. He's six six. Yeah. He's six six. Donovan Mitchell's like six three. Three. I know he's six three. Yeah. Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell's six, Mitchell's six three. Yeah. He's small. He's small. He's not big. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not big. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he got to get four. Camp Thomas six, six four without his shoes. Two million dollars without his shoes. This season, camp four million next year. I'm just saying, in terms. Oh, of, he ain't even trading. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm just. They not. Yeah, that's not. I'm just, just the two small guards like you. Two point. small guards. And they're not winning yeah. with him, and now it's stunning Evan Mobley's growth because he ain't getting the shots he needs, and he ain't getting the production that you expect out of him, and it, it, it's a lot. Damn. That's all.
Yeah, so we talked about the Heat. They missed out on several big name stars. You think about Dame, even Drew Holiday, we go and again. Aftermath. But Jimmy Butler called that team a few weeks ago mediocre. They're seventh seed right now. You think he fits with that squad? And if he does, how good does he make that Heat team? Anything just, for anybody that needs to worry about? You just give Jim, like the defensive. No matter who they have out there, they're going to compete defensively. Offensively is where they struggle sometimes because they just don't have enough offense to keep up with today's NBA. You know, and the way Jimmy plays, you know, Jimmy's not a guy who's averaging 30, 33 points a game, right? He's going to give you his 22 to 25, right? And then he's going to try to impact the game, try to steal the game at the end, last five minutes, yeah. right? That's where, you know, when, when you're talking about Jimmy, it's like the last five minutes is where he's, He's scoring his 8 to 10, 10 points. Um, you know, so you need somebody who can do some heavy lifting in, in the first three quarters. Yeah, they need that. They need another score. Um, Bam need to be a four. You need a five, put next mm-hmm. to him, take that pressure off of him so he can play freely. Let him put pressure at the rim, athletic, let him roll, be that guy. I just, yeah, they need another score, whether it's Donovan Mitchell or somebody else. I think Miami needs some help, but if it is him, I just don't. They still need more. Yeah, they still need. <laughs> they still, just, need, yeah, still more. need more, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's it. but I mean that's the thing. You look at any of these moves now, it's like, all right, what well, does it make you better than the Bucks? Does it make you better than the Celtics? Does it make you better? It ain't got to be better than them, but does it make our team better? Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, they like, compete yeah, with uh, those guys. But like, it is, does it make our team better? And if it makes our team better, then we give ourselves a chance against no matter who. But does it help us here currently as constructed? What we have in place, if we make a move, does he add to it? Does he help us be better? And if we are better, of course we're going to compete. Mm-hmm. Especially because we're the Miami Heat. Mm-hmm. And that's who they're they going to compete no matter what. They made it to the finals last year. Let's not forget. As, as the AFC last year. Let's not forget, right? You add Don, okay, cool, but I just think you still... Still need more. Because the, the rest, everybody else, like, to your the other team has gotten better. Yes, but does whoever we bring in, does it make us better? Yeah. Charlotte. You think Donovan Mitchell to the Charlotte Hornets? Shit, Mellow Ball at six, seven and a half, six, six eight. Shit, he can guard twos if you have to. And then now you got guys that's passing around where his... Because who's the shooting guard over there? Isn't it Scary Terry? Yeah. Yeah, he's there. There we go. You can fit that switch. Well, I got somebody who can put up 70. Yeah, but is that where he want to go? I don't get where you want to go. That's where we're going to go. <laughs> shit, he in Cleveland, so shit, this is an upgrade. <laughs> this is an upgrade in cities, shit. <laughs> Carolina's a good city. <laughs> Charlotte, good city, is it? Yeah. yeah. Spent yeah. a lot of time there playing that will kill. Okay. Some how far is that from a... Uh... Two hours. Okay. A lot of Bojangles. Eating Bojangles, Bojangles. chicken. Bojangles. 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 Yeah. Where the fuck is Malcolm Wilson? Got some good bird at Bojangles, baby. <laughs> that bird. That, that old yard bird at Bojangles. <laughs> <laughs> and before we move on to Mosty fans, uh, we have a question from underdog user by the name of Josiah Johnson. Steph? <laughs> oh, <man>. Wait. <laughs> Steph or Magic? <laughs> <laughs> I need 50 in my account, please. <laughs> I'm running low, Gil, all right? Hey, hey, hey. RJ Barry sold me. And it is a video question. Give me oh, it is a video question. Shout out, Barry. Appreciate you. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think that... Uh, that strong. We'll see as it progresses. But what, uh, in your opinion, Gil, what does Steph need to do for the rest of his career to solidify him as that? Just finish it, man. I, I, is it more chips? Is it more... Is it... It's just, there's, just, there's just stats that, you know, those guys get to use as trump cards, right? Oh, three finals MVPs, right? You get, there's just shit you just get to use that others don't, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's a different NBA, different rules, different stats being, you know, gotten. So, I mean, get, getting another ring would help. Get another one yeah, would. Get another just, ring with a finals MVP, yeah, which just puts him at two. Then he has to get a, another ring with a finals MVP. Go get so that gold medal. Go, six, like, like, six, go get that rings, gold medal. six rings, three finals MVPs. Yeah, he, he had to get three finals <laughs> MVPs. That's I'm just fun. saying, you got to get two more on. So he got to go two and two on that side. So that would put him at six total rings. Just, just, just no, for people to bring up something else. 
It's yeah, yeah just for the talk. It's just, it's just talk. for the talk. Like, it's, it's just the talk. It's just like their season with 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 Bron. Like no. right, right. Mike ain't got one. I mean, <laughs> like, fuck off. Mike does not have an NCAA tournament <laughs> championship. Like, pointed it up. <laughs> he can never. No, he I, can never do it. Can you, can we like making you mad sometimes? They didn't make me mad. I just <laughs> think of, uh, I'm a I'm a realistic. I'm a I'm a black and white. Like I just think in certain ways. And. For Andre Iguodala to have a Finals MVP. Well, he, I, I'm, he did shut down Bron though. He played. Bron averaged forty. I flip all this shit over in this. I flip. The, I flip all these but, motherfucking but, drinks over in this. Bitch, the, you say that shit again. No, no, no. But the pop, but but it's. But Steph. But to be honest, Steph would have been the the way he played that series. He wouldn't have been the Finals MVP anyway. It'd have just been LeBron. Okay. And that's, I mean, give it to him. They, they give, and the, what's weird they is they gave it to the losing. They gave it to the losing player, the team player before. Goddamn, yeah, the, the first finals, player. the first finals MVP went to the loser. So, so therefore, it shouldn't have been the five. <laughs> goddamn, the first, yeah, the first person who won the award didn't win the championship. So, therefore, so it was weird. The logo of the league, what, yeah. one chip, yeah, because he was the best player in the fucking series. You know, so it's it's, but career winning percentage, Magic Johnson, seventy four percent. Well, I don't like that. Nah, I mean, you got. Uh, see, I don't like that. I'm just a winner. Because there needs to be. Well, he came in on the number one team. Like, because you if, gotta. Come because on. if not, <laughs> let's just. If we call in. If we. They wouldn't have been in the fucking finals if it wasn't for Steph, man. Let's. Oh, if, fuck. Because you know what I'm saying? Let's not, let's not, not, not base it on just these fucking six games, dog. Mm. I'm saying, they, come on, man. No, no, no. Like, just to be honest about it. If okay. we, we real sports people, man. Like, we think about the shit in real time, and mm. we're honest with the, what we see and what the situation is. Did Andre Iguodala play a part in them winning? Absolutely. 1,000%. Take nothing away from what he did to help his team win an NBA championship. Yes, box check. He wouldn't have had the opportunity if it wasn't for 30. And damn if he had a mediocre six game, he still played well enough in order to help us fucking win. Mm -hmm. And for people to look at that shit and be like, well, Andre Iguodala played better than Steph Curry. Come on, man. We have agendas to push. I'm just like that shit is. But, like, but that's what I'm saying. They should have just. Uh, they should have. They should have gave it to the guy who dominated. That like, shit is. Weak, he lost. Bro. He lost his second and third option and had to put up the numbers. That is the Finals MVP. Okay, we get it. They lost, but cool, right? If you look through history, you did it. A, you did, did it a bunch of times. Yeah, you did it already. Hey, this shit started with a loser. <laughs> like, God damn it! You know what I mean? The motherfucker didn't start with a winner. It didn't start. You won the chance. It started with. Damn, this motherfucker good. Hey, congratulations, but we're going to get this MVP to him. Yeah. It started with that, right? So that's the fucking funny part. You started, but you started got, the bullshit. You, you, started, you, started, you got started 11 the media members, most of which you never hooped before, that are watching these games determining who's the, the most valuable player of the final. Oh, yeah. You got the, what's it, 37, 13, and 9. Six, four, and eight. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Three key <laughs> defensive plays down the stretch. Yeah, that, that's yeah, better than what... Yeah, no, I'm just... It's, it's, well, well, let's keep this thing moving. It time, happens. Time eat, for mostly fans. Eat one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. As always, help us help I, you. The, Oak, the Oakleys? Yeah, I'm trying to do the Oakley clap. Wait. You bring Oakley oh, back? I got a number for you. Yeah. number for you. Yeah, I got some Oakleys at the crib. Girl, now you got the box. I know y'all remember this, right? You're over here looking. <laughs> so you see gotcha. that, man. <laughs> I got caught this morning with my kids. <laughs> Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> that used to be the show. <laughs> Oakley, a, a very, very honorable brand. I think Oakley Tough Crowd Collab, I for one would purchase yeah. an unlimited amount of those glasses. Why we got purchase? I ain't got a purchase. Have. Yeah, go get some. I'm trying to give him the bag. I need, some nice oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need some nice seeing Oakley see, glasses. See, okay, I got you. Clear. See, see, through, clear. Clear. see through. See through. Clear. Like real life, my shit deteriorating. For real? Damn. No, my shit. Oh, my, oh. I can just read and shit. My arms ain't that long. <laughs> <laughs> my shit out here now. I'm like, damn. As long as I ain't making the font too big on my phone, I'm good. Uh, hey, 
motherfucker over here like, damn, damn. them words, bitch. <laughs> them little Bro. niggas, shit. My dad's phone, like, damn, nigga, you can yes. see that bad? Like, you know, big, but, but he big won't ass, go, like, fucking. But, but he won't go get glasses with him. Like, one word per line, shit, like, what? Yeah. <laughs> them, yeah. <laughs> them words, yeah. 50 and over. Just think Bro. about your privacy, dog. Like, everybody can see yes. that combo you have. Yes. <laughs> but, <laughs> nigga, font at the end. All right, so first question is from underdog user by the name of DC Room 93. Mm. Who are your top five players from your alma mater from when you played there till now? So when, from when you played there until now, Brandon, obviously, you went to Italy. So who are your uh, top five Italians? Damn. At, at your, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't remember. No, I'm just kidding. Me, Michael Cardion. Uh, you can give us, you can give Sunny, us, your, yeah. uh, the Don, yeah, yeah, he just the Don, the Italian, yeah. the Don, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was on a, <laughs> you call er, on a, shit, everybody from the Godfather, Alfredo, Alfredo, I was on, I was on a, a deep Goodfellas dive last yeah, night, yeah, definitely, not Fredo, not Fredo, yeah, man, I was, I was watching Tommy DeVito highlights from Goodfellas, R.I.P. Spider, uh, that's a question for her. Yeah. Gillen. You would have went to Arizona, so if you could uh, just give us your... That don't count. <laughs> so, I was going to say Salim Stoudemire. They, uh, winner. Ding, ding, Gil, ding, ding. Um, Richard Jefferson, um, Chase Budinger, and Jared Bayless. Jason Gardner. Okay. Me. Richard Jefferson. Michael Wright. Laura Woods. Your name is teammates. <laughs> yeah. It's it's fuck, it's uh, his, y'all y'all hear that? Dan, you ain't put eight on the squad? We was, just, we was the best start. We was the best team ever. <sighs> Even though we didn't win it, we would bust, we would bust that championship team ass. Who, Mike Bibby now? Hell yeah. We were Mike, <laughs> Mike Bibby, Michael Dickerson. I don't know about that. No, that Richard Jefferson, that's Michael Dickerson. I don't know about that. Miles Simon's got to guard me. Good luck. Mm. Keep then, up. Mm. Keep up. Mm. Arizona has some. Keep up. Couldn't shoot like Arizona that. Arizona has slow. some dogs. M- Miles, if you're watching this. <laughs> oh, we, oh we, got a, we got our group chat going on. Who was the bigs? We got Michael Wright and Lauren Woods. Who they had? They had... Um, it was like Bennett Davis. Bennett man. Davis. I you still, can jump. I still like jump. my team. Yeah. Me, Gerald Bayless, J- Jordan Hill, and Chase Budinger. I'm bust y'all ass too, man. I'm nah. bust y'all ass. You said I would only beat y'all huh? by like huh? 10, 15. <laughs> you heard nah, me, nah, goddammit. Nah, nah. Only about a good, good 10. Y'all would have been in it. Shit. Who y'all have over there? You sell like money. Well, Michael Lee, Lee, getting at him. Drew and them. Oh, yeah, I'm what, getting at him. All time? Yeah, from, Cincinnati? From, from when you played to now. To, from when I played? Yeah, to now. Okay, go before me. Uh, that's the, according to this question from DC okay. Room 93. So, Danny, so, so, so somebody I played with. So, Danny Fortson. Okay. DeMar Johnson, myself. Legends. Steve Logan. Leg, look like DMX legend. And Sean Kilpatrick. Who the fuck is that? Exactly. He was bugging. Fuck. You better go, Google him. He scored <laughs> 2,000 out there, motherfucker, at Cincinnati. What year? Huh? What year was it? He scored 2,000 points oh, in college. Yeah, yeah. No Lance Stevenson, they're asking? Sean Kilpatrick. Sean <laughs> no, Kilpatrick. Uh, Kane's response Mark is Johnson. his list is his list. Hey, he be just saying them. Where, where, where is Lance Stevenson at? That girl have <laughs> oh, Lance Stevenson? Your pick, you see me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, see me? Yeah, Blue yeah. Tooth. See, I can't see on that side. So we got me, Danny, DeMar, Steve, and yeah, we'll bust ass. Oh, yeah, we're, yeah, we destroying shit. Yeah, I, I just like to keep my team because I know where I fit in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know where I'm going to get the ball. I know where I'm going to get the ball. I know who's going to lead know. it in scoring. <laughs> Yeah, you start adding Damon Stoudemire and my heart oh, shit, no. Yeah, well, <laughs> Sean Elliott, shit like that. <laughs> yeah, got, nah. got a 10th pick, first pick, 6th pick, Steve Logan, score. Yeah, Steve Logan was guard, a guard. Sean Kilpatrick got the two. So, Logan got the one, Kilpatrick got the two, DeMar Johnson at the three. Danny and you. Danny at the four, me at the five. Yeah, we played them in a tournament. I want to say, like, Leonard we, Stokes gave us, like, 39 or something. Oh, crazy. Lenny, oh, yeah. the, the, shit, Lenny, Mr. Hey. Basketball in New York. Mm. Now, but Kenny, Steve Logan was killing us, too. Sat, yeah, so, yeah, so we had, yeah. Busting ass. All right, next question from underdog uh, user Lars Banks. <laughs> Do you guys feel like if it wasn't for Dre, Curry wouldn't be who he is today because the security... 
No. 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 It ain't got nothing to do with... No, the no. Stir, uh, no, no. Curry was going to be what Curry was, right? You know, you've seen glimpses of it, his rookie season, you know. Um, you know, I played against him in his rookie season, but he had Monte Ellis over there. Um, I gave him buckets, gave him 40, 40, 45. Um, Man, you had experience like that too against Steph, right? Yeah. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, but you can see it early. You can see it early then. You know, from there it was just you know being confident in himself. Um, so yeah, you Curry was gonna be Curry, period. I think the ankles, obviously, the those early injuries were kind of the biggest issue. But you could see it even. I mean, Davidson coming into the league, what he was able to do. Obviously, the league didn't prioritize threes at that point early in his career. But if it did, he would have been getting a lot of bu more buckets than he was already getting. Yeah, I agree with you. I don't think Curry's going to be Curry. Mm -hmm. Three for three. Yeah. Right. I agree. Okay. Yeah, ain't nothing. The there. large banks. Yeah, mm -hmm. that motherfucker. Last night proved even more. Well. Wardell is fucking pretty good. Wardell! Wardell. Still think Wardell. championship Wardell. level. Wardell! Without Dre. Yeah. Okay. Him? Yeah. That's all you need? Who, wait, 30? Wait. 30? 30 was going to be 30. 30 going to be 30. 30. Mm hmm. 30 gonna be 30. For sure. Cause you can just imagine, man, you put him out there where he can really like spot up and just <laughs> fucking shoot shit. Man, that's it. They got rid of they got rid of um They got rid of a young fella for him. Well, Monte was up. Monte was damn near like Monte was averaging 20 something. Easily. Killing. Easily. Yeah, and he was like, oh yeah, we're gonna go with him. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, yeah, we're gonna. <laughs> we see a bigger future. We see a bigger role with them, and they were right. Worked out. Yeah, they had Steven Jackson and all them still over there. Nah. Uh -huh. Steven Steven not, was, not when Steph first got there. Yeah, it was because Steven Jackson was in the game when I scored 55. I love it. Was? That's oh. how. Okay. Yeah, him, Corey Maggetti, Azabuki. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right, yeah. Um, yeah, that was that team. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 55. Wait, who got that? Was CJ Watson, Steph? Who got? I forget. CJ Watson. <laughs> he said, "Who got that?" Because you, you broke it. You, it, it was a few. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 oh, that group. It, it, it was like a crew of guards. Each one was. Y'all yeah, 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 know CJ Watson's situation? Like, did he marry or anything like that? Do y'all know? Like CJ Watson? Only oh, so. Was he married when we was playing? From Nevada. Yeah, CJ Watson. Oh. Well, I don't think. What? Well, well, listen, though. I know that. I just, just, listen. I tell you, as soon as we turn this shit off. Right. Oh, so shit. Come on, man. Oh, no, it's some funny. It's the funniest okay, okay. shit in the world. Okay. Right? It is fucking hilarious. But we know that Conor McGregor is a fan. Yeah, but I don't want to put no... Oh, yeah, that was the funny one. Because I don't McGregor. know the situation. The fuck are you? Man, so I don't... <laughs> this is CJ Watson, man. <laughs> ain't no dry snitching by me, so... Okay. We ain't, no, know. that's... Yeah, you oh, know, man. we are good at the arena. <laughs> no dry snitching, baby. This is why we are... Oh, but do you know why he said that, though? What? Why McGregor said that? Yeah, because he was wearing a CJ Watson jersey. But why was he wearing a CJ Watson jersey? Why? Oh, so you don't, oh. No. So we'll talk about this when we get done. <laughs> you don't know why he was wearing the C.J. Watson jersey. Oh, okay. Shit. Who the fuck wears C.J. Watson jersey to okay. taunt another man? A fan of the, the Las Vegas nightlife. And everything okay. C.J. Watson. Or, right. or, <laughs> or. <laughs> uh, fuck your couch, uh, nigga. Uh, <laughs> My naive oh my eyes. Girl, I got to go to Vegas again soon. Like, I got to be in Vegas for Super Bowl. Do not get me sleep. beat up. It was a Jewish doctor. <laughs> I will stay off of Koval Lane. Uh, question number three from underdog user by the name of Fierce Deception. It's a video question. What's good, Gil's Arena? I'm interested to know, in y'all opinion, which state has produced the best hoopers of all time? Now, we got Cali. We got New York. We got Florida. We got Georgia. We got Texas, Illinois. In y'all opinion, which state has produced the best hoopers of all time? Just mention all now, 50 of them. I'm going to assume that Gil, Josiah, and Brandon are automatically going to roll with Cali. Yep. And that's fine. I don't blame y'all. But in my opinion, I got New York because New York has produced MJ, Kareem, Dr. J, Lamar Odom, Stephon Marbury, yep. Carmelo Anthony. New York has produced a lot of great NBA players and has produced a lot of legendary street ballers. So who y'all got? 5,000 votes. So first of all, I think, yeah, that's like 37 questions. But he was at the shootout, right? He was at the shootout. And, and he had a special message for Brandon. He said, Brandon, count your fucking days when he sees you in the, uh, the championship. He got some work. Did he make it? I don't know. I probably not if you not if you New York. Is he basketball. even old enough? Hey. Are you, yeah, he look young. He was from New York, so them, that jumpers were not going in. Oh, come on. It was um, 
Of course, Los oh, Angeles. Oh, wait, like, oh, wait no, he was missing? What no, state, no. boy? What state? Huh? What state? state? Los Angeles is kind of his own state of mind, though. Cali. Yeah, California. California. Are those the best Hoopers? Or D.C.? Yeah, no, Cali, by far. Listen, New York was the mecca back when the 80s was popping. Right, they uh -huh. have. Here we go. Oh. What? Oh. You, you see, he went like Jordan because he was born there. Like, he's using people who were born in, in New York, didn't yeah. play and was raised in New York, born in New York. We don't know where the fuck everybody was born, so you can't count Michael Jordan because he was birthed there. He wasn't raised there, so it don't count. What? Right? Well, Mello wasn't raised there. That don't count. Right? Baltimore. Is his home. Is his home. Is his home. Right? That's where he was raised. That's where he learned how to play basketball. New York fell off. The last great New Yorker that we can that we can remember after all these trades and these they're, they're 45 going to high school and all that age shit was what? Lamar Odom, Stephon Marbury. Lamar Odom, right? That was it, Kimba Walker? Oh, so where Kimba from? Kimba? Kimba from, what about Jesus Lance, Shuttlesworth? Um, Lance Stevenson, right? Um, where's Sh Iman? Chicago. Oh, he's from Chicago. Um, right, so you don't like, that's your group. That's your group in the last 20 something years, since 2001. That's the group, right? So in the last decade and 20 something years, this is two your group. Shit. Yeah, damn, two decades. Two this two is decades. the last 30 years, this is it, right? Don't name me people from the 80s. Right. Go, right. Think, about the, think about the name he, Dr. J, like well, he, he Kareem. Yeah, like he, he ain't he named no one right right recent. Like, like right I think now. everybody like, like We can name five niggas right they now. They now we can name five Cal We can name the whole right Clippers. We can name the Clippers. <laughs> yeah. We can name the Clippers. The Clippers is better than everybody in the in the two in the from the two thousands to now. I think everybody buys from the state where they from. No, but what I'm saying, name, he named New York. Name someone in since two thousand that's better than um James Harden, Kawhi. And I never met a New York that was better PG. than the LA Hooper. Name, name, you, they can't name they can't name anyone in the last twenty years since two thousand that's better than those four alone. And no, they, those guys recent. I would say Seattle. Seattle Washington, got some. Washington, Washington got some ballers. Washington, Washington, DC. Washington State got some fucking hoopers. But Washington State got a ton of LA transplants. Everybody yeah, moved up there in the eighties. I'm just you telling you. LA transplants. Hey, yeah. Now you motherfuckers go move in the goddamn goalposts. They, they goal moved to the Pacific shit. Northwest. They moved in high moving, school they for they the job opportunity. They moved in the goddamn goalposts. Jamal Kyrie Crawford went to Dorsey High no. School. That happened then? Yeah, for like a, 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 a small... Who? Motherfucker went there for six weeks. No, no, no. We got something right here. How long he went there? He didn't even get no fucking report card. Six weeks? Bro? Yeah. He New checked in, K. He checked in. Yeah, fuck. New Just York, like KJ hey. went to Oaks Christian. New York in the last... New York in the last 20 years... New York in the last 20 years can't even beat New Jersey. Good when you problem. say that, like New Jersey's not. What I'm saying is the nation's Hooper. second greatest state. No, I've never met a New York Hooper that was better than a California Hooper. You can't beat a. What I'm saying is you can't beat <laughs> New York. New York can't go that, beat. I wouldn't New go that New far, Brandon Jennings. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. Okay, do you claim Michigan? I mean, when we went down, and listen, when I mean, we, went, every time we went down there, we went down to Rutgers. I mean, every time we went to Rutgers. When, when the, we went down to Rutgers, we let them know, baby. New York always knew our presence. We was I, like Snoop. I ain't never had a bad game. We was game. like Snoop kicking down the bill. We kicking down them. Ah, mm -hmm. ah. Drinking jungle juice after. Texas. It, Texas is a sec close second. We got hoopers. So. Texas, okay. Texas has produced a lot of hoopers. We got. It's a big ass yeah. state though. We got hoopers. They got a bunch of role players. That's fine. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> got a, a lot you of know, them. got to fill a team. A lot of. I mean, you know the L. Hey, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> if you want a star, you know, come to Cali. You want role LA. players? Go to Texas. Got you know, they, they fit in very well. Y'all got a handful. Y'all got five. On one team. That's all it is. Who? Hmm? No. So Chad saying Chicago got the best hoopers. What? Who out of Illinois? They got they 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 were they were running second for a while. They were running Anthony second Davis, for a while. Davis, D Rose. KG. KG from KG. Chicago or South Carolina. He from South Carolina. He went to high school. Will Bynum, very good. Pat Beverly, Pat, yeah. They, they got a bunch of they got a bunch of athletes. Kevin Garnett, Greenville, South Carolina. They got a bunch of athletes. Yeah, yeah. Like we play, against, it's gonna be a rough game. It's gonna be very yeah. good. But Malden before that, Malden, South Carolina. 
when he used to have to sneak out the crib for everybody who's seen the KG doc, because his mom didn't know he was a good hoop. You got D-Wade. Yeah, you know who got there. a lot of hoopers, too? Toronto. Toronto. No, no, no. Toronto's Toronto moving. Toronto got a lot of hoopers. Toronto's moving. Toronto got a lot country. of hoopers right now. That's a country, and they yeah. still not going to be the U.S. No, for sure. No, no never. <laughs> Counter days. But all those teams on one team. Washington State. Texas. Stop saying Texas like, like second. Like, it's not weird. But, but go, go Cali first, Fuck and then, and then go. Fuck you soft ass niggas. KJ from Cali. He's soft too. The, birth, yeah. the birthplace of Gangsta Rap. Uh, we got KJ and Bronny James. KJ soft too. We got everybody, baby. The birthplace of Gangsta Rap. Uh, we got everybody, baby. Straight out of Compton. Crips, bloods, you know how hard it is to be, you know how hard it is to be raised in LA? What? Man, you niggas, what? you niggas grew up in houses wanting to claim games and shit. Niggas got hearts and shit wanting games. We couldn't even wear a white t-shirt down the street. Facts. Niggas grew up in a house. Niggas grew up with their mama and their dad in the household wanting to be in a gang. We could you niggas is backwards. We're going to ask, we're gonna ask, we're gonna ask KJ <laughs> who produces the best. His own son in this house by the Cali. <laughs> of course. He's soft. He's a Cali boy. He got 818 tattooed on him. He's a Cali kid. He has, he has an 818 tattoo? <laughs> yeah. He, Go. he was fucking born. Yeah, there you go. Go. Oh, no, he Valley. He was valley. born and raised here. He Valley. You know what, look. He got an 818 tattoo. He was hey. born and raised but, here. Hey, no, no, no. This is going to yes. be some real shit, though. Ask him what his favorite football team is. I guarantee the he don't say the fucking oh, Rams. Or, you goddamn right he gonna say the Cowboys. I was about to say. No, this is a so real shit. gonna say Chargers. Yeah, because he raised that. Definitely. Ask him where he spent the motherfucking summers at. Forget Cali. Hey, a hey, young fella, forget Cali as a, as a whole. The Valley themselves, the 818, where we are right now, has more Hoopers in the last 20 something years than New York. I agree. The Valley. I not agree. LA. I agree. The with that Valley. One. I Remember the, the holiday boys. You got three holidays. Me, Nick, I agree. Um, who's the I best? Agree. You got Dan Witty. You got Dan Witty. You got Dan Witty. I agree. You got all the Sierra Canyon kids, right? The Anthony Melton. The, yeah, you you it's, got a, no, In the it's, last it's, twenty years, you got probably about twenty something. Tommy Highcast Junior. You said who's the best? <laughs> Yeah, who's the best? Damn, he stop, bro. That is wild. Stop, Can't bro. Don't even do that. I'm just saying, don't even hey, do that. Ask it. I'm hoopers. just asking Yo, you who's, dead a, who's the best hooper from the valley. Don't even do that. It's, they said Drew Holiday knocking on that door. Get the fuck out of here. Don't they even do that. that. They say he knocking on that Dude, door. Dude, don't even do they that. They knocking on that door on you. I think I, don't they, even they do that. He's knocking on that door. He never even got doubled in high school. I don't even. You ever heard of Triangle and Two? Yeah. All two was on me. <laughs> all right, come on, man. It was, that was on me. Right, you know what I mean? All right, bro. Both was on me. All right, bro. Man, he played boxing one. Man, man, there was no boxing man. one. I ate through that. Man. I already knew what that is. My, boxing one, I just set the screen. I became the screener. Boom, screen and roll. Boom, bye bye. Triangle two. You two guard him. They said Drew doing this. Nah. California they produced said, 427 NBA players. They said uh, Drew New doing York that. 419. They said Texas Drew 200. 419? With 419? Oh, no. In Texas 200. Vermont. One year, one year, the, the, the guy the Zero. Market, the okay. NBA itself started with New York as the Mecca. So probably 400 out of the 419 was from 1995 below. He's <laughs> gosh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know, that, I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna Google that. I'm gonna see when. That is our <laughs> show for the day. Another spirited debate and discussion on Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, 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 whoa. We will see y'all Thursday for our last show until New Year's, so make sure y'all pull up.